Sini window, list, Plavni. 2, 4 cents, 2. Okay, hello everyone. Hello ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm so glad to be here, you have no idea. Uh, this is me, uh, this is Lukash, or just Lukas, it's fine. And I'm here to show you, as I'm sure you all know all too well, I'm here to show you the first ever <laughs> official uh, stream of the current demo of the upcoming 1428 Shadows over Silesia by uh, Kubi Games or Cuba Games. We have the dev here as well, as I said, uh, Cuba dev. So that's cool, and I'm glad to see you all here. Some familiar faces from the audio games forum. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to show you the entire first chapter of the game, uh, as it currently is in the uh, demo build, which is not public yet. It's a uh, quite early. Dev scene switch. Still see the intro screen. Scene switch. I OBS two seven point two point three OBS two. But you can hear me. Oh, because I was not in... 1,428. Close. Okay. Okay, please tell me if you can uh, if you can see that if you can see the game screen now, the main menu screen, because I was still in the chat window to to read chat, uh, to see if anyone chatted. So maybe that's why you didn't see it yet. OBS two seven two two. Cool. Button button QB dev scene switch button QB dev yep. Boss lads preview edit B button QB dev yep. And did it stay? Uh, did it stay on, uh, on the game screen uh, even now that I switched back to to, to the chat, or did it? Here, chat. Od dive. Vocal. Lyrin, the blind guy. Hi. Hi, Lyrin. Uh, glad, glad to see you. So yeah, even though uh, I'm not used to streaming in English yet, as you dev no still intro, and it's oddly resized to just quarter of screen. BGT lover, hello there. It's oddly resized to just quarter of screen. Hmm. Let me one OBS two seven oh number lock off. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I did not. I was not changing anything in my OBS settings uh, since the last stream, which was in check. The previous stream was in was in check because the game is also in check. Uh, I only the only thing I did I, was I quit OBS and restarted it. So oh, Vlad, is EPRVK, not, window. Sure, Zast not sure why. Zasset Naravat checkbox. Uh, give me a second. Studio oh, Vlad, is EPRV. So Microsoft Speech API. East. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to... I'll try to fix it if I can. Can you tell me if it's uh, at least if it's at least uh, if it's at least visible over the entire screen now? Because I, you should be able to hear me, and you should be able to hear to hear the microphone as well. Oh, 
Oh, was it? That's a relief. So is it actually fine? Is it actually working fine? Now, for real. <laughs> for real this time. <laughs> Everything is fine. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, because, of course... Uh, yeah, great. Wonderful. Thank you. Thanks for your help, uh, man. Really, I appreciate it. Because uh, even though I... I expect yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, you know, it happens to every one of us. My my bad will be. My bad will be when I start playing and I start Select. screwing up. Um, Leva. Select. Yeah, BGT SPL. lover. It was uh, Microsoft speech. Windows speech. Win two. It was e speak. Yeah. Okay. That's my bad. Yeah. Because. Uh, okay. Let's get organized. Let's get started. I'm sorry about the confusion. Um, because I, I was wondering why we set everything up before for the check stream, which was before this one, and it worked fine. Even the screen was fine. So yeah, I was like, "What the hell is going on?" Okay. Pair me chat. Divaka fighter mock. No stream would be complete without some technical difficulties no at the start. Lol. Can't remember when I had one without in the first few minutes. Or well, would be com complete without a few technical difficulties on the start. You can't remember when you, uh, you last had uh, the last one without any. Yeah, BGT right. BGT lover agreed. Agree. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Especially. But yeah, I'm still kind of nervous because I'm just starting out. I told you like a dozen times before. So yeah, but it, uh, it's fine. Larry the blind guy, hi, at Mock. Yeah, so you can unfortunately hear. Hi there. Uh, nice to see you here. You can unfortunately. Cutie David, Larry the blind guy, I love it. It's one of my biggest inspiration. <laughs> you can uh, uh, you can unfortunately hear my NVDA reading the chat. I forgot to fix the voice uh, to switch the voice back to English. It's hi, Dermog. Anyway, hi from Poland. Hi from the Czech Republic, uh, Piotr, right? Uh, that pronunciation. Uh, I can BGT speak... lover, good. You are not doing dev streams and don't have to deal with programming bugs while live coding a feature. I, my, I suck with Polish. I can't uh, speak a word, but I can understand some. Yeah, uh, dev streams, programming streams, not yet, but who knows what might come up in the future. Okay. Um, yeah, you can hear my uh, NVDA reading the chat because I don't have a uh, mixer yet, unfortunately. I did try to use the OBS plugin for uh, adding. Hi, Dermok. Yep. Lyron the Blind Guy. Great. I am uh, a huge fan of Andrzej Sapkowski. Polish language would fit the game for sure if that's planned. Yeah, it would. would. Would fit the game if that's planned. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if it works out. Uh, Petr, the dev, would uh, sure like it as far as I can tell, as far as he has told me. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Nothing promised yet. Uh, yeah, so. I don't have any mixer yet. I was trying the plugin uh, for OBS for multiple audio sources, and it worked. And I had keystrokes assigned assigned to, you know, mute NVIDIA, NVIDIA on the fly to read chat without any disturbance. Oh, thanks for the follow. Thanks for the new follow. You can hear the old, good old classic uh, PS1 logo here. Uh, I was about to use that, but uh, the keystrokes failed to work. It muted NVIDIA first, but then didn't start it up again so you will be just hearing my chat for now until i get a mixer or a second audio card or something uh yeah i have to drink coffee in the meantime because larry the, the blind guy the alert sounds are not working just in case you don't know are not that's that's weird because i i heard it i heard fine on in my obs i uh assumed it would go through even on the stream but I guess I will not be uh, bothered <laughs> to, to fix it for today. Um, yeah, thanks for telling me though. Uh, I'll fix it for the future because otherwise I would never get, get a move on. I would never get started. We'd be stuck here for uh, forever. Uh, sorry about that. We'll fix it for the future though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They're a rough start, but the check stream went fine. I PGT lover after all. From what you told us, the game happens in Poland as well. So yeah, maybe uh, it suited. It, it does happen in Poland, yeah. It's uh, Silesia. Sil Sil Larry the Blind Guy, that's a problem at times, and that happened for me too. Sil I am streamer, and that's kind of weird setting that up. Silesia is the region which is kind of half in the Czech Republic and half in, in Poland. So that's the, the region that makes up the border between the two countries. Okay, and uh, what I'm going to do here, you're all here for the game. Uh, you can hear the menu, menu music already. And uh, I'll I'll be using this voice uh, with NVDA to read it. So I hope 
everyone's fine with it. I have to drink uh, my coffee because uh, I've been going for two and a half hours in Czech already. <laughs> um, that thing went fine and I hope this one, this one does too. Uh, so, first of all, I'll go through the accessibility menu and uh, uh, play the audio cue tutorials for you, of course. Larry uh, the Blind Guy, I just hope the game contains the fantasy elements similar to the Sapkowski's books. I just loved how he combined the history with fantasy elements. Yeah, Smiley face. you'll see, you'll see, I'll show you in a, in a while about the fantasy elements and I do believe you will not be disappointed. Uh, QB Debit does. Oh, he told you straight away, it does, okay, okay, <laughs> it does. BGT uh, lover, hang on, what happens when you launch the game? How do you enable a 11Y? Uh, you don't, because, because of the Unity plugin, you don't have to enable anything. Because uh, of the Unity uh, UI accessibility plugin, it automatically recognizes that either NVDA or JAWS is running as you start the game, and it enables that part of the accessibility by itself right away. It starts reading text immediately, and yeah, the rest. Larry the Blind Guy game added to my wish list. Haha, at QB Dev. Wow, that's uh, great, Larry, that you added it to your wish list uh, already. So it it what it does is it starts reading text by itself, and the rest of the accessibility settings you have to enable yourself but it's already being narrated I'll just show you in a in a in a half a half a second um, OBS to 1004 okay we can already hear here <laughs> that okay close okay oh resume okay close okay welcome to the demo of 1428 shadows over Silesia where you can try out the entire first chapter the game is still under intensive development don't be discouraged if you run into bugs and there may be plenty of them you may see something unusual or unsightly, the game may crash unexpectedly, display an error, or run slower than it should. You can report bugs and give feedback on Discord. Link is at the bottom right of the screen. You can control the game using the keyboard and mouse, or plug in the controller and play using that. Have fun. Petr Kubisic aka KUBI Games. Yeah, and because this game uses NVDA to speak, uh, to, to read the text, uh, that's why I will not be reading chat immediately all the time. I will be playing for a while or explaining for a while, then I'll pause the game, come back to read the chat after after a while, uh, because otherwise it would, if I left the chat window focused, uh, it would keep talking over over the game. So that's just uh, for you to know. So if I hadn't launched the game before, which I have, so that we could hear the menu music as we started, then this uh, message we just heard would be the first thing that you would hear immediately when uh, when starting up this demo for the first time. Close. So okay. I just click uh, this OK button here to, to dismiss the message. Resume. And we are we're immediately in the main menu. Start new game. Arena. Load game. Help. Settings. Exit. Yeah, that's your main menu. Pretty basic, pretty standard one. Settings. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look in the settings. <coughs> Excuse me. Without game. Without any further ado. Language. English. Voiceovers language. English. Subtitles. Enabled. Shouting subtitles. Enabled. Disable tutorial. Disabled. Yeah, they're more like uh, combat subtitles. Pause on focus loss. Disabled. Game. That's the main general settings for the game. Sound. Here we have sound settings. Master. Master. 83%. Isn't it a little? 85 per 88%. I'll try it. 90%. How it works uh, this way. Music. 70%. 73%. 75%. Yeah. Sounds. 100%. Voices. 100%. User interface. 100%. So we can see. Audio output. Quad. That we can toggle the volume separately for everything. The music, the voices, which is the voice acting, of course, for the user interface sounds and other things like that. So yeah, and the audio output, which I have set to quad, which even with the simple stereo headphones works surprisingly well. And it it's so accurate, it's wonderfully accurate uh, when locating the sounds and you can hear everything fine and enjoy. Sound, visuals. Visuals, we don't care. <laughs> I have a, a NVIDIA 2060 GPU, so I've been running everything on the highest details uh, for now and uh, heard no complaints, uh, no complaints so far, so oh, it... Uh, sound. Visuals. Sound. So, Master. Hope it Music. Looks fine 75%. As well. uh, even 70. Now. 68%. Sound. Visuals. Controls. Here's controls. Uh, you can remap controls here, but I'm still using the primary keyboard controls ones. Uh, pr primary keyboard ones. Disable mouse cursor. Disabled. 
just a, a quick sneak peek. Controller vibration. Disabled. Use controller. Disabled. And then, then you have your standard. Con a primary W. Left primary A. Down primary S. Right primary D. Sprint primary shift. Auto run primary caps lock. Use slash talk to slash pick up primary LMB. Switch to next interactable object primary Q. Highlight all interactable objects primary space. Draw slash hide weapon primary tab. Attack primary LMB. Etc. Etc. Controls. Accessibility. And this is what interests us the most at the moment, I, I believe. Read text. Enabled. That's enabled. And I, as I said, that's enabled uh, by itself uh, because uh, otherwise you wouldn't even be able to get here into this uh, part of the menu. Read subtitles of the spoken word. Disabled. Yeah, so that's uh, if uh, we were planning, uh, playing in German or Spanish, which are not voice acted, uh, it would include the narration of the individual lines for the characters as well. This is what The Last of Us Part 2 unfortunately misses out on uh, due to the way they decided to use their own custom TTS engine and have everything sampled uh, beforehand. So that's why, that's why uh, it doesn't read the character lines in the languages that are not voice acted, unfortunately. And Shadows of Resilesia does this. Lock camera rotation enabled. Lock camera rotation is extremely useful, uh, uh, especially for regular mov movement, because if you do have it locked, it enables you to strafe, uh, to sidestep which uh, when playing visually is not uh, possible normally. Disable camera, keep signals only, disabled. You can just turn the camera off altogether if you don't care, if you don't care about the visual as aspect, but I'll leave it on uh, for any uh, possible, <laughs> for any potential sighted viewers. High contrast mode, disabled. Pretty self-explanatory if you're partially sighted. Um, and you still have some usable vision left so that this would help you you can turn it on and it'll just shows the basic outlines uh instead of the full graphics the basic outlines for characters and terrain and uh objects in like red and green and blue first person sound enabled yeah that's uh actually pretty important so that uh with this enabled you're all hardcore audio gamers here, I don't have to explain, but just for sure, you know, I didn't have time to check every single viewer out uh, who's here. So just in case, uh, uh, this toggle uh, being on means that uh, the moment you hear something farther away to the left, you know it's actually farther away from, to the left from you in the game world. When it's uh, heard on the right, you know it's actually on your right. Navigation assistance enabled. Yeah, this is a pretty important thing in some areas, although you are much more free to explore in this game than, for instance, in The Last of Us Part 2, because you just know where you're going. You have other features, which we will discuss in a, in a second. And then you can still use this at any time you want. So even if you feel lazy, you don't feel like exploring at the moment, you just turn on navigation assistance and voila, and you're being guided to the destination, you know, the way we've seen it in that uh, game, in The Last of Us. When you press the button, it turns you uh, in the right direction so that you can proceed towards the current destination. Confirm moving to another area. Enabled. And this, guys, is pretty cool. Confirm moving to another area. Uh, in The Last of Us, you had... Uh, you had uh, pretty much one, the one uh, same sound, the same sound, the, the basic sound for every kind of interaction. Um, yeah, of course, if you had ammo for a weapon or if you had a door, uh, you will see how it works in Shadows of Resilience. It works the same, it gives you an extra sound. But many, many interactions in The Last of Us, uh, such as character dialogues, optional dialogues, uh, not the optional ones did it, but the mandatory dialogues in the story didn't do it. They didn't give you any extra sound, so you just heard the interaction prompt and you didn't know what's coming up. Uh, it could easily happen that you just uh, uh, took or used the interaction and uh, it moved you through a scripted passageway to the next location and you couldn't you could not uh, come back uh, so this uh, makes this a makes a separate sound a different sound for uh, passageways between locations and B in the same way that the game offers other actions other interactions it displays the prompt to open door 
pick up uh, the weapon or like uh, lit light the tor lit the torch, uh, and you can either do it or not do it. Uh, it does the same for leave area. It just uh, offers you the action to leave area. So whenever you leave an area that you can't re-enter later on, it's going to be your conscious decision and not the the error of the game not telling you something. Accessible timed events enabled. This just means that whenever there is a counter uh, for you to complete a certain event in time, otherwise you die if you don't manage to complete it in time, uh, this accessible timed events toggle gives you double the time uh, as uh, visual players have uh, when it's turned off because uh, some areas are kind of complex and convoluted and you could easily get uh, uh, lost on your first try so it gives you more time. Slower enemy AI in combat. Enabled. Yeah, I'll sure demonstrate this uh, in combat. Uh, they just think slower, kind of. They still move and walk and attack at the same speed, but they give you more time to react. If, if this is turned off, you would uh, always hear... Uh, it, it easily happens, and trust me, it happens all the time when slower enemy AI is off. Uh, it happens that um, the very second you hear an enemy, coming into range, uh, appearing auditorially on your sonar, and uh, here you hear the audio cue. Okay, you can attack, you can, you can attack, but it's still, it's too late already. You don't have time to react, you just get hit and screwed and dead. <laughs> so that's why it's important to have this on, uh, the slower enemy AI, so that we can even react in the first place. Accessible stealth, enabled. Maximum number of enemies to attack. 10. Maximum number of, en uh, of enemies to attack, uh, you can, yeah, 10 is the max, and you can, Not eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. you can uh, move it between 1 to 10, 10, 10 is the max, but it's also the default, so I'll leave it at that. Show cues on the display, enabled. Show cues on the display, it's just a visual aid, either for sighted players, or for debugging, or, you know, partially sighted low vision players. Uh, the sounds you hear are also represented visually. Environment has changed audio cue. Enabled. Environment has changed audio cue. Yeah, pretty much self-explanatory. You hear the audio cue, you know you've moved to a different location or a different setting or atmosphere, and you press the R uh, keystroke to have the description for the new location read to you. Cinematic start and end audio cue. Enabled. Cinematic start and end audio cue. Pretty much the same as The Last of Us. Uh, plays a sound when a cutscene starts and another sound when it ends so that you know that you're currently watching a cutscene and you cannot control your character. Obstacle sonar enabled. Yeah, this is a sound cue that signals walls and impassable obstacles in front of you or to the sides. Sonar vibration feedback enabled. If I was playing with a controller, which I'm not at the moment, um, this enables you to have a sonar feedback not only in the form of audio cues, but also via controller vibrations. Sonar scan sideways, enabled. Sonar scan sideways, so that means you're not holding just a single white cane in your hand, which points straight in front of you, but you're kind of, uh, figuratively speaking, you're holding three different white canes and the two other ones point to the sides. Character sonar, enabled. Yeah, whether characters, uh, enemies, and neutral NPCs should be included on the sonar scan or not. New interaction available audio cue enabled. An audio cue for when you your character comes within a, a sight of a new interactable. Ignore torches enabled. Ignore torches uh, because if you're totally blind, you don't need to. You don't care that it's dark. You don't need to uh, care to worry about picking up torches and lighting them. Uh, so if you turn this on, it does not ignore torches enabled. It does not bother you with the torches appearing among the available interactions. But I'll turn it off uh, for now. Disabled. Just in case we have some sighted viewers here, I'm sure we have at least one. Who's Sir, Sir Donny here? Uh, thanks for coming back from the check stream and welcome, welcome back. <laughs> so uh, that in case I'm moving through a dark area, uh, the sighted viewers will have something out of it as well. Enemy nearby audio cue enabled. Yeah, for when an enemy, a new enemy appears uh, in your in range or gets out of range, either because you killed him or someone else killed him or you ran away or the enemy ran away. Never mind. The enemy just uh, never mind why. But this, as soon as the enemy got gets out of your range, uh, one of the 
two audio cue plays either got in range or got out of range. Enemy saw you audio cue. Enemy Enabled. saw you, which means he's about to react to you. He's either start going to start running away or attacking you. Enemy is attacking audio cue. Enabled. Enemy is attacking means he's performing the move to hit you with his weapon right now. You have to either dodge or parry or block with your shield or get hit. Can successfully attack audio cue. Enabled. Can successfully attack means you can swing your weapon right now and you're pretty much likely to for your blow to connect. Uh, means you're facing the right way, you're facing um, towards the enemy, uh, you're close enough, and so on. And you have a weapon drawn, of course. Low health audio cue, enabled. And low health audio cue, pretty self-explanatory, plays, uh, plays in a loop, uh, warns you when your health is dangerously low, you receive like one more blow and you're dead, basically. Uh, since it plays uh, in a loop, it keeps playing until you either die or uh, drink a potion to heal yourself or you can of course at any time turn this back off and if you don't need it or you like okay i know my health is low but what do i do with it right now i had no potions so you can turn it off so that it stops bothering you and then turn it back on once your situation changes and it starts uh, being useful again accessibility do you want to save your changes yes uh, oh yeah because i because i turned off resume uh, ignore torches. Okay, let me Two, four cents game. let me check messages for a while. One, one. I have to start new game. Turn Arena, down. load game. Help settings. That menu Sound. music. Master plus. music. Master ninety percent. Eighty eight eighty percent. Yeah. Sound. Do you? Yeah. Resume. It was a little too loud for me. Two. Uh, I couldn't hear the NVIDIA over it. Button graphic Ojnik Vsilage is available. Button for sense gaming. I'll try to restart this. Button QB dev. Every button QB dev. Button QB dev. Sorry. My button BGT lover beat. Button Lyran the blind guy. Pair of me chat OD Divaka. Button Piter mock. No stream would be complete without script. Button BGT lover agreed. Button Lyran the blind guy. Hi at air mock. Button QB dev at Lyran theft. Button, button BGT lover good. You are not doing dev streams and cook. Button BGT lover after all. From what you told us, the game happens in Poland as well. So I just loved how he combined the history with fan grip button QB debit does. Button BGT lover hang on. Button Lyran the blind guy game added to my wish list haha. Button B button QB debit does. Button Hannes 112 love the main menu music. Button BGT lover yeah. AHH. Great. Uh, so Linux support isn't impossible. You love the main menu music. Uh, I do too. Uh, Linux support is not technically impossible, but I I think um, the uh, the accessibility plugin that uh, we are using for uh, Unity does not support Orca uh, at the moment. So we'll have to check it. Button Lyran the blind guy. This music here is just amazing. It yeah. reminds me of the Polish audio drama. At music Dev. is. In case you don't know, we have a full trilogy in audio drama form. Over 60 hours. Here with over 100. You have the full Hasai trilogy in audio form? I want that. <laughs> actors playing. The button actors playing. The music composer is the same guy who composed the Oast for the Witcher games. Wow. Button SLJ1988, okay. do you receive bits? I'm trying to send some, but can't find the bits button for some reason. Yeah, uh, Soren. Act button SLJ19. Or SL. Button LJ1. Yeah, it's you. Okay, SLJ. BGT lover. I don't, unfortunately. I, I don't think I have that uh, feature available. Act button SLJ1988, do you receive bits? Button QB debit isn't. But it's not a priority at the moment. Sorry. Button Hannes 112, is it in English too? Yeah. But I just turned it up. I just turned it. Button Hannes English. 112, Lyran. Oh, I think. Button I'm BGT way lover behind. for future streams. I think there should be a bot that reads chat, since there may be important things you may be missing while being focused away from the Twitch window. Yeah, I know. I know. I just wanted to to get get this done with uh, the bots to read chat that I was trying to check out were way over my head at the moment and way under the time because we were still crushing the bugs out of this demo. Yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. I'll I'll try to fix that for the future. Button Lyran the blind guy. No, Definitely. sadly Polish only. Odd pop does a Vitelli at QB dev. It isn't, but it's button SLJ1988. Okay, thanks for the reply. I'm not very much used to Twitch, so I wasn't sure if it was just me who did something wrong. Yeah, Graphic, it's smiley there. face. Button Hannes 112. Ah. Button QB dev at SLJ1988. It was reply about Linux version. Not button QB dev. I think Lucas will need more followers to receive bits. Yeah, right. I'll probably need more followers. Button Lyran the blind guy. Damn. Bits. That's nice. I could play with check dubbing. I could still use English. Yeah, exactly. You could. Subtitles. Button QB dev. Yes. Button Piter Mock T hat's really cool with the subtitles because that opens it up to running through. Translation or Braille. Button Lyran the blind guy. Check voice acting sounds really great. Odd Pov is a Vitelli at QB. Button SLJ 1988. Oh. Sorry. My screen reader messed up. Graphic. Button Sir Diany. Wow, you impress me, man. Person of many skills. 
Wow, thanks, Donnie. Okay, but BGT but, uh, you see life. here how it's uh, how the, there's a disadvantage. I'm way behind in chat. I'm too slow to read the messages, but yeah. But button BGT that's your first. Uh, that's that's the inexperience of a first-time streamer for you. Button sir, Diane, button BGT lover like in real life. Good. Like button sir, Diane, hi there. Graphic sirdo, hi. Button QB David sirdo, any welcome again. Welcome again. Exactly. Odd pop is a battalion QB. Button sir, Diane, you again. Graphic sirdo, chargey. Uh, can someone write a message uh, right now, just so that I know how far I'm behind? Like, if I'm a hundred messages behind, I'll have to, I'll have to. Sir, Diane, now. Give it up and blank. Yeah. Graphic sirdo, Lola Neem. Button QB Dev, yeah. I love this game and need to be on every stream. Button Sir Diane, should I start it to now D? Button Sir Diane, a QB Dev Lucas is up. You must buttons, button Sir Diane, a QB Dev Lucas is up. You must game even more easy, man. Sir Diane, just 10 message to go. Just button Sir Diane, make start. Button Lyron, the blind guy, that'd be cool to add descriptions of these options you are talking about to let players what that mean exactly. Just an idea. Uh, Piter Mock T, his is a message. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. But there's accessibility tutorials as well, and uh, all the, the meanings of all the toggles and options are actually described in there. It's just the tutorials for accessibility specifically have already been written. They're just not in the demo at the moment. Uh, so, and you could you could uh, turn that on directly from the main menu. Like there's the help section, which will also include the accessibility tutorials. So even though even though the, the descriptions are not by the toggles themselves, you can still you will still be able to to read them from the help or tutorials. Graphic section. smiley face. Button QB dev there is audio help. You will hear soon. There's audio help for the audio cues. Button Lyron the blind guy oh okay. That's true. Button QB dev and there will be detailed tutorial too. Oh yeah, exactly. If you meant uh, the audio cues, then there's a separate help for them, just like the audio cue glossary in The Last of Us 2. And yeah, the, for the entire first chapter is basically a tutorial. Like, uh, even though, of course, the story goes on and you, you get drawn in and everything, it's still, it's still mainly a tutorial. Button BGT lover, how wide is the range? Like, how many units? Is there enough time to react? Uh, what is the range? Button QB dev it is. What? We have tried more different ranges and I hope we get it right. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when the optimal range to react, I see. Yeah, uh, it's because it's supposed to be hardcore. It's supposed to be really tough and challenging for everyone. Uh, no, no making it easy for us blindies. <laughs> but yeah, it, it should be working now. At least it's for me. Button BGT lover, you do indeed have a lot of messages to check. LOL. Yeah. Button BGT lover about that. Steam has an SDK to allow Windows compatibility. It's called Proton. Button Sir Diany now. Button BGT lover message test. Button Sir Diany just 10 message to go. Button Piter Mock T his is a message. Pause lads preview it. Okay, thank you. Thank you Pause so lads much preview guys. It. Um, One thing. Done through the, um, I've successfully gone through the first wave of chat messages. Start new game. So I think it's time for, yeah, cause we've covered the menus. We've covered the accessibility. I do think it's time to let you hear the official intro. Loading. Which will set the story for us. And Listen KUBI games. This. Listen to this. Subtitles being read. Proudly presents. A game by PETR Cubisic. Better could be check. At the beginning of the 15th century, Europe has already suffered several plague epidemics, which brought death to one quarter of its inhabitants. A protracted war between England and France rages in its western part. In the east, Turkish conquerors are penetrating into the continent, and they will gradually take over the entire Balkan Peninsula. Local Christian population is being sold into slavery, and in conquered areas, Islam is solidifying its dominance using the carrot and stick method. Deaths are piling up, and many a preacher is predicting the approaching end of the world and the arrival of Antichrist. In these hard times, people are turning to the church for solace. But church dignitaries, instead of tending to their own souls and those of their flock, are living in lavish luxury, selling indulgences and amassing possessions. Despite proclaimed vows of celibacy, they often keep concubines and advance their own illegitimate children. I'll turn the music Never-ending conflicts between secular and church powers culminate in the appointment of two popes. Both of them are unequivocally convinced of their own legitimacy. 
Religious storms are starting to ravage Europe. Preachers and scholars criticize the moral decay of the church. Among them is the rector of the university in Prague, Jan Hus. He calls the Pope the Antichrist. And in retaliation, the Pope labels Jan Hus a heretic and excommunicates him. Jan Hus is invited to a council in Constance, where he is eventually sentenced for his opinions and burned at the stake. Instead of his doctrine disappearing, he becomes a martyr in the eyes of his followers. A movement is born, and it quickly gains widespread support in Bohemian lands, both among the common people and the burgesses and nobility. Its members call each other brother and sister. This symbol is the chalice, as one of the demands for reformation. Communion under both kinds, which is the expression of equality between the clergy and lay persons. Following the death of his brother, Sigismund of Luxembourg is to be crowned the King of Bohemia. The Hussites, however, blame him for the death of Jan Hus and insist that he first accepts their reformation demands. But Sigismund refuses to accept these conditions and travels to Wroclaw, where he begins to prepare a crusade. The Hussites gradually conquer Catholic castles and towns in Bohemia, and to the surprise of entire Europe, they are victorious against all crusades against them as well. Then they go on the offensive. At the beginning of the year 1428, they storm into Silesia through the Moravian Gate. And that is where the story starts. That is where we take over. And we'll just hear Game saved. now where we are, who we are, and what's going on. Chapter 1. By Fire and Blood. By Fire and Blood. So the Hussites are no easygoing folk. As you can Loading. guess. We, the Hussites, are no easygoing folk. We're, we're just uh, riding our horses. March 11th, 1428, shortly past noon, not far from Roersdorf in Silesia. Yeah, the local names. <laughs> Mispronounced. Riversdorf in Silesia. Connect the Foxes Group, United Army of Hussite Field Communities. Connect the Foxes Group, United Army of uh, Hussite Field Communities. Hey look! Rosdorf is in sight now! We're getting close. This Brother Hunis is a little boring. Brother Prokop sends a message that you should join him for and us? the other commanders at the head of the army. But it's only this one. Tell him I'll be there shortly. Straw, you're in charge. Of course. Go on. Close. Movement. The playable character is located in the middle of the screen. You can move it using W, A, S, D. The character will then start walking in the direction in which you moved, always in relation to where the camera is facing. It doesn't matter whether you are walking or riding a horse. If you need to move faster, you can start running by pressing, shift, energy. But keep an eye on your energy, which will immediately start to decrease, unless you are riding a horse. It is displayed in the top left corner and has a green color. A too low value will cause not only a decrease in your speed, but also damage the power of your strikes during combat. You may even come across actions which directly require sufficient energy in order to be performed at all. Camera. Camera zoom happens automatically while in combat or during special events. You can rotate the camera with, scroll up slash down, movement during combat. During combat, movement is controlled similarly to normal movement. On top of that, you have to rotate your character. While holding your weapon, you cannot manipulate objects around you. Uh, the power of your strikes is diminished when you have low energy. That was another mispronunciation. It's spelled right in the in the text. It's just the voice, uh, the Microsoft Mark voice playing tricks on us. Poor blindies. <laughs> okay, uh, we just heard the first tutorial for movement and it's uh, kind of long as you can see. And the accessibility tutorials, once added, will complement that with the information about the standard controls with, uh, with uh, considerations for accessibility. But movement, for now, on its own, is pretty basic and pretty straightforward. No need to, uh, there was no need to make that any more accessible, like by itself, than it already is. 
And uh, one more cool thing I'll show you before uh, reading through chat again and before checking out the audio cue help. Uh, because how cool is that? Uh, we, in, in case of long messages like this one, uh, when you have a whole page of tutorial instructions and it was uh, perhaps too, too much to hear all at once, uh, you can just do this. Movement. You can use page up and page down and move through the text by uh, sentence by sentence. The playable character is located in the middle of the screen. Yeah, uh, nothing. But when I press it again, another page down. You can move it using W, A, S, D. The character will then start walking in the direction in which you moved, tiny, always in relation to where the camera detail, is facing. But how cool is that? You can move it using. The playable character is located in the middle of the screen. How cool is that? That better? Our, our very nice uh, and considerate dev, <laughs> who may still be here and may not, uh, uh, that we, uh, of course, it was also my idea, but uh, he actually went ahead and, you know, coded all these tiny little details in so that the experience is as two for sense seamless as it is. Pause labs per view. Pause lab pop button liar in the blind guy amazing. I love that. Button BG button fighter mock it really fits. But it button QB dev okay. It's not about missing assemblies or something. It's more about time. Mon but button BGT lover about that. Steam has an SDK to allow Windows button search button BGT lover message test. But but button BGT lover BTW at QB dev DK if you got the links I sent on the forum. But there's a Unity plugin. Button fighter mock T is a message. Liar in the blind but that supports speech for the Xbox too. Yeah. Button QB dev, okay. It's not about missing assemblies or something. It's more about time, money, and priorities. But I'll do my best to bring it to other platforms too. Yeah. Uh, Petr, or QB dev, summed it, summed it up the best he could. Uh, we know about this. We would love to see it happen. To QB dev, why you would like to copy it to clipboard? To have the game on a console, but it's not about ignorance, it's about when and what is possible in the given time. Button liar in the blind guy, no idea if it's pre-recorded or just game engine, but the reverb sounds really good. Button fighter mock at the risk of starting an OS war, I'd love to see this on Mac. The Unity plugin supports. Yeah, the reverb is a It's a fake and there's a sizable blind Mac user community. I'd be happy to test if that'd help. Pretty cool. Button QB dev reverb is an engine. Rec button, button QB dev reverb is an engine. Recordings are without effect. Yeah. Button fighter mock it really fits. Graphic. Button liar in the blind guy, great work on that, really. Button BGT lover, yeah, I know how such things can be. Take your time with it. It's better to have a good working game for one platform rather exactly. than having many platforms exactly. working for you. Still, That's though, I wanted to let you know those APIs are there in case you didn't know of them. Yeah, they, they are. Button QB dev, okay. Thank you. Button BGT lover, yeah, a speak is better at that kind of stuff, TBH. Button Lyra in the blind guy, amazing. I love that. You speak is better at that kind of stuff. Honestly. Button BGT lover, very awesome. How hard would it be to have an option to copy the text to the clipboard is? Well, Button Lyra in the blind guy, this is the kind of the developer I will support for sure. Button QB dev, why you would like to copy it to clipboard? I'm not exactly sure either why why to copy it to the clipboard. Button BGT lover, because the TDS may mispronounce stuff. We may want to review it character by character. Oh. Pause labs per view. Hannes 112, thanks dev and LOOCK for all the work you put in. I never actually thought of that myself. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, this is not for me to answer or to decide. Uh, there's a more uh, appropriate person for this here. And, QB dev, I see. And the Doesn't decision... just end a window for this. The decision doesn't have to be right Button now. Button QB dev, I see. Doesn't has end the window for this. Uh, see, does has end the window. Well, NVDA by itself, better. NVDA by itself does not provide speech history like uh, like you do. Uh, it means uh, when, you're, when you're outputting to NVDA directly, like you do in your game, uh, it does not, it just reads the text as, as you feed it to the uh, screen reader but you can't review it uh, by yourself. But what you can do, and that's true. BGT lover, no, not really. You Plus add-ons are breaking often nowadays. No, 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 you can, you can just turn on the speech viewer in the tools window for NVDA. And well, at least, at least it's a temporary working solution, you know? So you can, in the NVDA tools menu, just turn on the speech viewer, which uh, appears in a floating window beside the game window, and you can read that in the edit field and you can copy it to clipboard from there. Yeah, I get, I do get that it's more cumbersome. Sure, uh, but yeah, at least for like, for when, the, for now, it, it's a solution how to work around this uh, this feature, this missing feature. QB dev, yeah, this is I meant. Yeah, I'm sorry, I just, you're right, you're right. I just realized uh, like when I was halfway through through my stupid, uh, meaningless speech, <laughs> what you meant. Okay, but yeah, so there was your first cutscene about history and there was your first tutorial about movement. Uh, 
maybe some of you who are not very much into history may find... Larry the blind guy, I just know people who are copying game text to the clipboard for the translations for the other languages. This is what I am doing for the Japanese games. Yeah, it's also true. It's uh, it's kind of my bad. I, I take the blame uh, willingly. I never thought of that. Uh, I, I've I, I've played the Japanese games myself, you know, with the translation add-ons. I've been there. I just, yeah, I just never thought of this, uh, of this, uh, of this need or requirement that that would inevitably come up one day but yeah let's let's we'll we'll discuss it it's a good idea it's not like dismissed uh now let's move on with the thing uh for some of you uh maybe you're not too much into history or you find it boring so maybe the intro was a little too long but you don't you don't have to worry you don't have to know anything about history about the Hussite wars about Silesia at all to enjoy the game because it explains everything to you gradually at a nice pace and this intro was actually the longest, uh, longest historical session. Larry the blind <laughs> guy, I love that. It just sucked me in. In, uh -huh. the, in the game. Oh, good. good. I, I hope. I hoped there would be most of you. QB Dev, it's no problem to do it. It will be tomorrow. Smiley face. BGT lover, I think it's actually good this way. Oh, that's so cool. So cool, uh, Petr. I I hoped so. Like uh, when you, since you can already move by sentence. Uh, so yeah, it would copy the last thing. Yeah, remember you can either copy the, uh, you can either repeat the entire message, like the history of the five most recent message, or you can move uh, by sentence. So it should probably work for both. Like if if possible, the feature should know whether you were just uh, repeating. Larry the blind guy the is the game coming out tomorrow. Am or, I right? Tongue sticking out. Or uh, the sentence and that, BGT lover, that LOL. thing to be to have it copied. Parvni chat Odi Divaka Kerry Calderon Hi. Yeah, I heard about uh, this game on the YouTube testing. channel. I must say, from the mechanics I see here, it's very mind blowing. Testing, -E testing for the shelf date. is coming tomorrow, <laughs> perhaps. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm glad you liked the intro. I hoped most of you would, but I was saying it just in case, you know, someone someone was like, why do I have to listen QB to Dev, guys, we just started. So yeah. 1,400. One uh, that's it for you. Okay, so where am I? 1,400 and... Oh, I'm... Okay. New journal entry. Okay, okay, okay. New task. Just starting. You heard a new journal entry, new task. So let's read them all, I guess. Uh, read a task with T. Current quest report to Brother Prokop for instructions. Report to bro Brother Prokop for instructions. And the journal entry, which is the intro one. Thursday, March 11th, 1428. Our army crossed the border of Silesia. Duke Wenceslas of Opava hastily and enthusiastically signed a peace treaty. Unfortunately, an accident struck the expedition on the way back from his castle. Our hetman Velik of Bresnitz was thrown off his horse, broke his leg and had to be left there in treatment. Hetman Blazik of Kralov became our commander instead. He's always hated me, but he's an experienced warrior. Above all else, I have to get out of his way and it will be fine. Yeah, at least Hinek knows what to do. Uh, our character Hinek, our play playable character, he's, uh, he has a clear idea of what to do to appease his superiors. <laughs> so that's our task and journal. And here, guys, here we have the environment descriptions. You're sitting in the saddle of your steed. You are on a forest path with a small river running beside it. There are woods all around. Yeah, how cool is that? You just know about every important location. You don't know all the all the details, but you get the idea about your surroundings or the atmosphere, the setting of the of the place, or any key crucial information that's like important for solving a puzzle that you would otherwise miss. So yeah. Uh, that's it for you. And uh, let's take a look at the audio cue help before uh, I move on in the game. Audio cues help. General environment has changed. Just audio cues. Press uh, F two in game at any time to 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 open it, and you can also see it in the settings menu for controls that it's the F two key to open this up. So there we have it. The general section and the environment has changed. Audio cue. Environment has changed. Audio cue. This has played before during the cutscene, so I knew there might be something important to read the description for. Cinematic start. Audio cue. We heard this cinematic start. Cinematic and, and audio cue. Cinematic and during the intro already. So the one tone. Cinematic start audio cue. Is the start. Cinematic and audio cue. And the two tones is the cutscene end. Navigation assistance. Whenever you hear this sound, it means you've just pressed the key to be snapped to the destination direction, pretty much like uh, The Last of Us Two does. You've reached your destination. And this is when you've arrived. So one, uh, the uh, the one repetition of the tone. Navigation assistance. Is you're just navigating, and the two repetitions. You've reached your destination. Is you've just reached the destination. It's possible to leave area audio cue. 
This is for the passages that I was talking about before, for the intersections between locations. And it keeps playing in the background like this, as long as you're in range. Low health audio cue. This is that low health warning I was talking about. Also plays like this. Obstacle sonar. Walls and impassable obstacles audio cue. This is the wall cue, or like, as it said, impassable obstacle, which could be a river or anything. And if it gets closer, it would go like. Friendly and neutral characters audio cue. These are the NPCs that are not hostile towards us. Enemy audio cue. These are the enemies which are import important, especially during combat, or it's important to know when to evade them. Interaction. Interaction within reach audio cue. This is a whole section dedicated to interactables. This is just to, when this plays, it means your character has just seen a new interaction within sight, whatever that might be. Item within reach audio cue. If this plays instead, it means uh, it's a collectible or um, not, not collectible. It's an item that you can pick up and it's accompanied with a sound, uh, with an extra layer of sound for uh, potions and keys, and coins and weapons, etc. Again, pretty much like The Last of Us does. Key within reach audio cue. Key within reach, yeah. This is the thing. Can talk to a character within reach audio cue. And can talk to a character. So it's not like a door or a, an item or a key, but a dialogue interaction makes this sound. Door within reach audio cue. This is a door. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory again. Combat. Enemy nearby audio cue. And this is the section for combat. So this plays when uh, a new enemy appears within sight, not within attacking range necessarily, but within the, the sight of your character. Uh, don't worry if you can't get all these audio cues at once. Like uh, it seems like there's a lot of them, but uh, I can assure you it took me couple. Uh, it's difficult to say because when I first started testing uh, there was not this audio cue help yet or there was but not all the cues were there yet but I would say like an hour at best less than that uh, half an hour to be sure about what every cue meant. Enemy saw you audio cue. This means that the enemy which is who is already in sight just saw you uh, can start attacking or can start fleeing but has noticed you and is gonna do something about it. Enemy is attacking audio cue. They're swinging their weapon at you right now with this audio cue. Can successfully attack audio cue. And this means that you can attack them. If you swing at the, at the moment, you're very likely to, to hit. Enemy out of range audio cue. This means that the enemy got out of range. Either you kill them or fled or you fled. It's just no longer in sight. Encounter over audio cue. This is the encounter over audio cue, meaning, meaning either you managed to run far enough away from all the enemies or none have been left because <laughs> you managed to kill them all. And that's it, because the low health warning is, an, yeah, yeah, we've had, had low health in general. Oh yeah, because it makes sense. You don't have to get injured hard only in an in a encounter, it can happen. Uh, through other means, so that's why it's in general, general and not in combat. Three. So there goes your audio cue help. Button BGT lover, no, not really. Plus add-ons are breaking often nowadays. Button QB dev, yeah. This is I meant. But for, but button QB dev, it's no problem to do it. Graph but 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 see here, it's very mind blowing. Can't button car but button carry Calderon, cool. Yeah, I was not late. We just started. Button Lyra the blind guy, and I just love that even if we started. At QB dev. Button BGT lover, whoa. What's all that noise? What's all that noise? Which noise? Button Lyra the blind guy, oh wow. That is just obvious. That's just awesome. Button BGT lover are the descending tones items. The descending tones, yeah, these were the NPC characters that because uh, we're riding a horse and we're uh, in our with our together with our troop. Um, our character Hinek, who is the Hasite headman, he's the head of the troop, so we're all riding our horses in a uh, formation. Odd pave clean with him. Oh no no no! no. I didn't. I did that. Button button BGT lover are the descending tones yeah. items. Button odd pave clean with him. Button QB Devitt's characters around. Characters around. Button BGT lover whom like Bluetooth. Explain. Button Lyra and the blind guy. Hopefully this will be not too low in the mix. Not too low. Button in the BGT mix. lover whom. I think the obstacle sound is a bit too quiet. 
That was not the obstacle sound, that was the... Button QB dev, you can change volume by yourself. Character sound? Button BGT lover, I mean. It's not that noticeable. Very hmm, soft. Button QB dev, you will hear it in action later. Exactly, you will. Button Piper mock, I briefly connected to the check stream and it sounded fine because there were many instances of it playing. I think it's subtle enough. Yeah, 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 exactly. Button Piper yeah, mock, exactly, I briefly... Exactly, Piotr, uh, thanks for that. That's that's exactly the idea behind the behind the obstacle, uh, behind the NPC sound. Instances of it. Button BGT lover, all the other sounds are distinguishable enough, so that's good. Button QB dev, yep. It's playing all the time. It's it shouldn't be mind blowing. Time. Yeah, right, right. Because exactly like here, there's a there's a whole troop on horseback. Uh, you have to be able to hear the other audio cues as well. Don't uh, forget these are neutral NPCs. With the most uh, neutral NPCs around, you can't actually even interact during gameplay itself. You either you only care about enemies or such NPCs, even if they're neutral, that provide the Ability to talk to Apparently, Chad OD Dibaka Meatbag 101. Wouldn't these sounds be different for a blind person compared with those with working eyesight? I would imagine a blind person is much more aware of sounds than those with working eyesight, as we have more senses to compute. I might be wrong. I'm just thinking out loud. Tbh. Button Piter Mock Star sees the MGS exclamation mark Star Snae Aok. Button Lyron, the blind guy that reminds me of Shadow Ryan in its attacking range. Button Sir Dianey, you rock man. GTG Elden Ring awaits. Bye. <laughs> Elden Ring awaits. So he's probably you're probably gone. By now, but yeah, enjoy, enjoy your Elden Ring. I wish I could too. <laughs> Graphic Serdo cheers. Blank. Graphic Serdo hi. Button QB dev by it Serdo any. Pervni chat od divaka. Button meat bag 101 wouldn't these sounds be different for a blind person compared with those with these. Button meat bag 101 out of button wouldn't these sound be different. A blind person com with the with work I sight I would. Well, the sighted person does not hear these cues at all if they don't turn them on manually, willingly. That's the whole point. Why would they? turn these audio cues on if uh, they can see the visuals. Sight as we have more senses to compute. I might be wrong. I'm just... Pause labs per view. Pause labs per view edit. Okay. Pa sight as we have more senses to compute. I might be wrong. I'm just thinking out loud tbh. Yeah. Pervni chat od divaka shang gamer 420 hi. Just a curious question. Will this be archived on YouTube? I missed the beginning of it. Uh, Meatbag yeah. 101 I'm just responding to the person saying some sounds were low. BGT oh, lover awesome. Oh, oh, no oh, sensory thanks, overload. Meatbag. I see. I see. Uh, th see where you're coming from. Yeah. This will definitely be uh, archived on YouTube. Um, it'll stay even here for 14 days and I'll... Uh, because it's uh, pretty late at night here. Uh, my time. Uh, not pretty late at night, but pretty late in the evening. So as soon as we are... Sean Gamer 420, here, yes. Some sounds are hard to hear. I'll, Gary Calderon, are you getting into gameplay? If not, I'll be leaving. I am, I am. In half a minute. Uh, so I'll be going to sleep as we finish here. But in the morning, I'll upload the whole ar archive to to gameplay. I thought you were here for the accessibility, you know? So yeah, there, there you go. Uh, One thing... Someone said I should be using a chatbot to read the, the messages, but I can't do that for uh, this game anyway, because it would be talking, it would be interrupting my NVIDIA output from the game. So unfortunately, you have to, you have to... 56 fathoms to the destination. Uh, do with it. Okay, so we hear the horses and this, all 55 these characters to the destination. around us, and I just started using the navigation assistance. 53 fathoms to the destination. And as you can hear, it tells us if I press it Close. repeatedly, User interface. It, uh, it tells at regular intervals how, how far uh, away from the destination we are. There is uh, another tutorial about, uh, about uh, character, about user interface. 43 fathoms to the destination. It says, uh, well, it doesn't say, it, but accessibly we can have the character properties read. So health, 100%, energy, 100%. Health, 100 per Pinek, Hussites. Coins, Ducat, Bohemica, collected 0 out of 0. Used 0. Grassy Pragences, collected 0 out of 0. Used 0. So we have two kinds of coins which were being used in Silesia back at the time uh, Ducats and Grassy. And uh, of both of these kinds, I haven't collected any coins yet, and I haven't used any yet either. 42 fathoms to the and destination. I've already shown you uh, the quest tracker, the active quest tracker, and the 33 fathoms to the destination, and the environment descriptions. So since uh, I'm I'm riding on horseback, even if I wanted to, I can't dismount right now. You can't dismount your horse now. And there's nothing to. 19 interact fathoms with to the destination. So yeah, on horseback, there's not uh, too much more. Six fathoms task to completed. Do. Then keep writing. Did you send for me? But that's the Brother same with Brock everyone. Up. Ah, there he is. 
Brother Blazak will tell you about our plans. Blessed be the Lord, brothers. Sure. So let us repeat once more for Hiddick. The army will split up behind the village. The main part's brother Prokop will continue on towards Osobla and then towards Glovavec. Where, as far as we know, Count Bolko still resides. Smaller groups will leave the group there and head for the surrounding areas. Brother Dobislav with his people and you, in egg with yours, will set up from Rovasdorf for Hennesdorf and then further on, all the way to Tsukmantel. From the other side, Otta with his foot soldiers will go through Hammerstadt and you will join together by Edelstein Castle. And what about the castle? Conquer? Only if it's easy. I won't harm Bishop in any way, but there will be enough of you there. Keep in mind that we're still only at the gates of Silesia. There will be plenty of time for waging wars. Don't take any unnecessary risks. Take only what you can easily transport and burn the rest. You can rely on it. And what about you, Brother Blazek? Are you going towards Glockovec with Prokop? My task lies elsewhere. Along with the other orphans, we will head towards Vaishak, Liebenthal, and then Prutnik in the morning. You will go there tomorrow, after you have finished in Tsukmantu. Everything clear? Clear. clear. Alright, you're dismissed. And brothers, may Christ be with you. Yeah, at least it's clear and to, with you, to Hinek. Good luck. <laughs> Here. It's already started. We will meet behind the village. Don't stay there much. We still have a lot of work to do. I'll find the guys and we'll follow you right away. All right then, Brother Hinek. For now, go with God. Here! And the cutscene is over. As we just heard, our briefing for new 31 fathoms the to the war destination was over. Our tasks now read new current quest find and get new task. Current quest find and gather your troop. Find Dobeslav Pukala on the field behind Roversdorf. So I'm supposed to gather my troop and find Dobeslav Pukala on the 31 fathoms to the destination behind Roversdorf. And I'm still you're sitting in the saddle of your steed. You are on a forest path with a small river running beside it. There are woods all around. I'm still 34 fathoms on to the destination. Horse. 25 fathoms to the destination. 9 fathoms to the destination. Yeah, if Leave I uh, play more and talk less, then there will be other people asking all the time about basic things, so it's difficult to balance, you know? But here we have Leave Area, and we can hear our troop gathered all around us. You've reached your destination. Yeah, I can move around with my horse so that you can you reach your destination how the sounds change position but yeah let's just leave game saved loading like move on to the next part 80 fathoms to the destination you're sitting in the saddle of your steed you see fields and village buildings around you some of them are on fire 70 fathoms yeah, to the how destination cool is that how cool is this are these descriptions 59 fathoms to the destination it's just incredible We're trotting away Kinda nicely. 43 fathoms to the destination. Where are you hiding, Stroll? Where is he hiding? 31 fathoms to the destination. That's true, and we can hear some dogs run. Yeah. There's your... And there was your NPC. Yeah. Now that there are no more... Not too many other sounds around. I'm sure you can hear it, the sound much easier. Now that I try to face the NPC and get closer to him. And he's getting out of the way. But they are getting out of the way. <laughs> As they should. 27 fathoms to the destination. 24 fathoms to the destination. The horse had to turn towards the bridge. 10 fathoms to the destination. To turn as Peasant. he wants. Straw! Pinnock, look what we have here. Local hero. <laughs> leave, leave me alone, heretics, devils! Stay quiet. This is the, this is an option, a dialogue option we have. We can either choose. We have to make a decision. We can choose stay quiet or leave him. 
Yeah. May he put an end to it. Maybe go to the devil. May he go to the, put an end to it. We or have work to do. Put an end to it. We have work to do. And if I wait too long, this is the clock. Leave him. Leave May him. he go to the devil. May he go to the devil. To tell me I have too little time to left to decide. Well, what's new with Prokop? Grab your things, jump onto the wagons, and we're off. Pukala is waiting for us behind the village. Do we have to go with the poles? Shut up and hurry. Where is Father Divish? Maybe he went off somewhere to take a piss. Oh, oh there he is. Maybe he went off somewhere to well, take a piss. Well, didn't you hear? Straw is just... Pack up your junk and we're off to plunder with the poles. Wenzel, you go grab the others. Where are we off to, Brother Henek? We will join up with the poles and go towards Hennersdorf. Hennersdorf it is. Onwards. Straw is the... Our, our right hand man, the guy Task who said completed. Father Givish went somewhere off to piss. 75 fathoms to the destination. You can hear even the burning houses around us. You're sitting in the saddle of your steed. You see fields and village buildings around you. 73 fathoms to the destination. So we see that the description. 63 fathoms to the destination. Lying indeed. It's not kidding. There's some 48 fathoms here. to the destination. <laughs> 38 fathoms to the destination. Houses. And since an important uh, part of the chapter and of the tutorial is about to come up, let me uh, check messages again. Pervni chat od divox site. I would imagine a blind person is much more aware of sounds than those with working eye. Button me pervni chat od divoka. Button qb dev by a certo any. Per button meat bag 101. Wouldn't these sounds be different for a blind site? Site pervni chat button shang gamer 420 high. Just a curious question. Will this be archived on YouTube? Of it. But button well, BGT lover awesome. No sensory overload. No sensory overload. Button Sean Gamer right. 420. Yes. Some sounds are hard to hear. Button Carrie Calderon. Are you getting into gameplay? If not, I'll be leaving. Button better than I expected. Button bet button BGT lover. Yeah. The A11Y is awesome from what I heard till now. Well, audio positioning is great. It better is, than I expected. It is. Thanks. Button meat bag 101. This is the voice actor of Radzig. Uh yeah, I'm not sure. Which which uh, voice actor, which for which character did you mean? I don't think the voice actor for Ratzak uh, Kobila from Kingdom Come is actually acting here, but I may be wrong. Button QB Dev, no. Oh, yeah, better answer. Dude. Graphic, smiley face. It's Roxy Clark. It's Roxy Clark. Graphic, okay. smiley face. Button Sean Gamer 420. I still don't understand the rising and lowering tones that are repeated as he is moving. Oh, you mean the clicking sounds? Button me back. You mean the sounds or the kind of uh, whistly digitally whistly things button qb dev tone is rising and lowering by distance of character button bgt lover characters the horse is moving so his sonar detects things as he passes by chars thanks guys uh, button qb dev at meatbag 101 yeah sounds similar this. graphic S button sean gamer graphic smiley face yeah he does button sean gamer 420 there are multiple of them so does that mean that there are multiple chars around him yeah it does i've been explaining this for like 20 minutes button bgt lover yes he's in a formation Button BGT lover, okay. Audio is just marvelous. Button Sean Gamer 420. Oh my, I really want to play at least a demo. LOL. <laughs> this is so awesome already. You'll have to wait till summer. I'm sorry about that, but yeah, uh, it is. It is so awesome. Button Meatbag 101. I legit thought it's that was incredible. some trippy music. Button Meatbag 101. Graphic LUL. Button BGT lover, is it using HRTF? I can hear when things are behind VS in front, yeah, etc. Yeah, I don't yeah, think it that's. Is, it is, and that's why. Simply behind pitch decrease. Uh, that is why I use the quad audio output mode compared to simple stereo because even with uh, only stereo headphones we can button piter mock don't think so here pause labs preview you can easily pause labs preview uh, button chat badge carousel the difference between in front and behind. button fiber emoticon link pre and one one thousand four options resume 46 fathoms to the destination yeah what you can hear just now is i'm approaching the 43 character. fathoms to the destination it's rising in pitch 43 fathoms to the destination. I'll show the functionality of the sonar, sonar better when uh, when I'm off the horse because he never stands uh, still and I, it's difficult to 42 fathoms exactly to the destination without uh, navigation assistance so I can't pinpoint the exact location 31 fathoms to the destination. The sonar, the sonar that I want to show you. 18 fathoms to the destination. Task completed. There they come. Everyone up, they're off. I'm looking forward to fighting by your side, Hinek. To Hennersdorf! Game saved. Loading. Villager. We're here! We can hear Charge the villager enemy brothers. has appeared. 
Here, Pritchik Bracha! For the truth and the greater glory of God Almighty. There's some Polish for you guys. Charge them, brothers. And Hinek, because he's a uh, hot headed, uh, charges forward in villager. Uh, ahead of his troop. And a villager with a pitchfork is waiting by, and he knocked his horse down, and now Hinek lost his horse. Uh, this is a part where cutscene. Closed Close. captions Combat. If you get will into a be added uh, pretty soon, maybe even tomorrow already. But there are already other working places in the build where you will hear those closed captions in action. So the cutscene is over and we're straight in our first encounter. Uh, the combat tutorial uh, is coming up, but I'm gonna sum it up uh, faster than the text. Well, not faster than, than the text, but with accessibility considerations. So, uh, you draw or sheath your weapon with tab by default you can remap that of course when the weapon is drawn you do not hear interactions around you because you can't interact with the things anyway uh if you want to pick up things or move things use things you just have to draw your uh, to sheath excuse me to sheath your weapon again uh there's a key to snap directly to the closest uh, enemy or interaction nearby with a, with a drawn weapon, it snaps to the closest enemy. With the weapon sheathed, it snaps to the closest interaction. But you have also have to turn manually because the enemies keep moving pretty fast, you know? They don't wait for you to dilly-dally and face them. So here comes the first combat. This is, guys, I think this is what most of you have been waiting for very eagerly. What you've been interested in, uh, you will not be disappointed because you have to keep moving. If there's more enemies around you, it's best to separate them. Because if they, if two or three or more charge you from multiple sides at the same time, you're dead. You take one or two blows and you're gone. Um, you have to run, you have to dodge, you have to parry, you have to block with your shield. You have to strate strategically time your moves. Try to split the enemies so that they're, they're, they, they don't overwhelm you with their sheer numbers. <coughs> There's a shield, which we don't have yet, but if we did... Uh, you block with alt and if an enemy hits your shield you parry or counter you, you counter attack by quickly attacking at the right time uh, it takes a while you like you press control and the character takes a while to swing the weapon just like it would in real life so you don't do just you know it's not how this game works and the sonar will uh, play the sound for enemies uh, there will be again there will be multiple of them but the closer to the center it is and the higher in pitch and the faster it is uh, the closer the enemy is to you uh, plus the, there will be the audio cue that tells you you can swing right now and I'll try to uh, tell you in time when that happens I'm bound to die several times here just like everyone else because um, if I try to be explaining things I'll just die new task 18 fathoms to the destination uh, enemy close in front but uh, dodged me close uh, no I didn't want to open them 18 fathoms to the destination there are there are no enemies nearby oh, they they there are no enemies fled? nearby they actually fled me health 100% energy 100% weapon drawn this is not happening 16 fat there are no enemies nearby and I don't know how villager how long oh there you go closer 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 now I can attack but I was too slow Health, 100%. Energy, 50% weapon yeah, draw. These, Th 13, these there are no enemies near, there are, there, there are no enemies on nearby. This, on this playthrough are kind of uh, sneaky uh, and afraid of me. They run away. So it's difficult to catch up to there, them. There are no 10 fathoms to the destination. And, uh, and just get them. Brother, brother, here. But there will be other fights, uh, pretty tough fights later on. Uh, what I wanted to say was that even if it played the cue to attack, I was still was, uh, you know, I pressed the key immediately, but before Hinex swings the weapon, it takes time, and the villager just there are no enemies nearby. Away. Brother, here. Okay, he, they actually genuinely ran away. Okay, and the, maybe the rest of my troop, you can hear that faintly in the distance, in the background, just got rid, got rid of them. This is the NPC that's talking to me, that's calling to me. He wants to give me something. See? Getting closer. Uh, the tutorial about interactions opened. I'll just show it in practice. 
Brother. Talk Brother. to Hussite. Here. You reach your pickup steel rod. Strength. 10. Rain. Talk to Hussite. Yeah, talk to Hussite. The my fellow Hussite is calling to me. If you press space, you hear we heard like weapon on the right, the Hussite in front of us, the car talk to character sound, and the Brother. other sound on the Here. left was another weapon. Uh, you snap to the interaction with B. See how it switches between the weapon, a sight weapon, uh, and if there's more actions uh, available within hand range, you brother, just talk brother. with Q. Pick up steel rod. Talk to Hussite. Pick up steel rod. Strength ten. Range zero comma seven fathoms. So there's your other weapon. But if I check my mace, which I already have in my inventory. Inventory empty pouch. Mace. Strength. 25. Range. 0, 0,7 fathoms. We see that the rod and the mace have the same range, but the rod is just 10 yeah. strength, so it's less than half of, of my mace, of what I already have. So why should I pick up the, the rod? Pick up steel rod. Strength. Uh, talk to Hussite. Talk to Hussite. New task. Pick up steel rod. Take strength. 10. Range. Spread the red rooster to the other houses as well. Yeah. Uh, so that was our, our first failed attempt villager. at combat, because we have- oh! There, there are no enemies nearby. Why? Sick, there, the villager. Come on, come on, come on. There, there are no enemies. I wanna villager. kill you. I wanna catch you. Health, 100%. Energy, 100% weapon draw. And I was too small. Three and fathoms to the destination. The one from our troop. There are no enemies nearby. Did it. But I can now show you the functionality of the sonar. We got a new task, but I can show you- okay, so this is, these are the NPCs. Getting closer. Pick Pick All the weapons in here I know are no good to me. And this thing here is the obstacle sound or the wall sound I'm currently facing. North. North. Due north. And if I slowly keep, keep walking forward. So now I'm kind of in a corner, probably between two houses. Oh, there was a small alcove on the right. Yeah, but now there's a house in front of us and on the right. Or an obstacle. I, I'm guessing it's a house because we're in a You village. see fields and village buildings around you. Some of them are on fire. We're in Hennersdorf now. And I now I'm strafing to the left. And the, an obstacle from the left is approaching. just walked past it because there was a very narrow space audibly yeah so this is essentially how the sonar works for you for obstacles for NPCs and even though the all the enemies run away from me uh, <laughs> we could still hear it briefly even for them even for th th the enemies button nasty Venetia to link preget and a pulled moderatora button viber emoticon link preget and a pulled out privy slap graphic button fighter mock think you got a typo there enemies but button fighter mock don't think so. Oh yeah, so, there's probably a button BGT lover. Okay, audio is just marvelous. But graphic enemies. LUL. Button BGT lover is it using HRTF? B button carry Calderon BTW. Your audio is glitching. Is my audio glitching? Button BGT lover makes sense. Anyone else? Button fighter mock don't think so. Simply behind pitch decrease. But Anyone but else? Button, uh, button SLJ1988. Have you let the can I play the community know about this game? They are in touch with. Problem. BG. You let the can I play that? Uh, Pretty much all I kinds have. of disabled people, and they reach out to a ton of people I worldwide. Have. I'll I think. The, QB Def Mike glitching same as in check stream. That bu su button fighter mock post pop button QB Dev Mike glitching same as in check stream. Glitching same. Gl button QB Dev out of button Mike. Glitching same as in. Mike glitching same as in check stream. Chip blaster, yeah. The same OBS shenanigans. <sighs> yeah, it is OBS probably. I thought it was my cable broken. Fighter mock it crackled something. for a bit, but it's fine now. Is it fine now? I can. Uh, what helped in the check stream was for me to mute it and unmute it again in OBS as the source, as the audio source, and it fixed it. Uh, Fighter Mako, yeah, now the mic is glitching. Now the mic is glitching. Okay, thank you. 1004, OBS, I'll, OBS, number lock on. I'll try, no. I hope it... Desktop window. V-stop, place, 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 oh, one, fire, OBS, no I object. I hope it helps too. No ob, Firefox, one, th OBS, two, system, to graphics, graphic, filtry, reason, reason, menu, status, scene, drip, smiz, prichody, scene, v last, nasty, pros, z, zero, post of Nicholas, dosti, slimit, z, voc, hry, check, v last, no, Kamira. Zero post of Nicholas Adosti. Stlimit Kamira checkbox. Left click. Smizovac Zivuka window. Stlimit Kamira checkbox checked. Stlimit. Left click. Not checked. Three. Four cents gaming Twitch Mozilla. 
Is it still glitching? But, odd Pov Dizabatelli at QB Dev at SLJ1988. Yeah, they know about it. Smiley face. Gr button QB Dev at SLJ1988. Yeah, they know about it. Button exactly, Piker. Such a combat do. system. Myself smiling face. But that pretty much all kinds of disabled people and they reach out to a That would button BGT lover finally. Something I've been wanting since forever. Something well, that means I don't have to make. Since forever. Such a combat you system. Myself smiling such face. Combat system yourself. Exactly. You're not alone. I think every one of us here on the stream. Wanted such a combat system. Button Piker Mock T Hink, you got a typo there. Emimis. Uh, since forever, yeah, the typo is probably there. Button QB Dev at SLJ1988, yeah. They know about it. Graphic. Odd Pov Dizab at QB Dev. Button SLJ1988, awesome. awesome. Graphic. Button BGT Lover, no. Button QB Dev, Mike glitching, same as in chip. Button Button Piker Mock. Button BGT Lover, not really. If I focus on it, I hear the glitching. Yeah, you hear the glitching. Button Piker Mock T Hink, you got a typo there. Button Piker Mock T Hink, you got a typo there. Button Piker Mock T Hink, you got a typo there. Button Piker Mock T Hink, you got a typo there. Button Piker Mock T Hink, you got a typo there. Button Piker Mock T Hink, you got a typo there. Button Piker Mock T Hink, you got a typo there. Button Piker Mock T Hink, you got a typo there. Button Piker Mock T Hink, you got a typo there. Button Piker Mock T Hink, you got a typo there. Button Piker Mock T Hink, you got a typo there. Yeah, no good. Didn't didn't do anything because uh, what I tried in the check stream was uh, disable this mic and enable the one from the chip blaster. Yeah, it's still glitching, but it's not really that bad. It's still glitching. It's not really that bad. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, folks. Maybe it's a combination of OBS and the cable. It sucks, man. This is a Rode uh, NT USB mic. Uh, those who, of you who know it uh, know it's pretty expensive and it's not uh, like there's some cheap shit on the on the headphones but yeah uh, what I was about to say was I tried to uh, mute BGT that. lover what if you apply an equalizer to the mic source uh, how the hell <laughs> do I do that in OBS two <laughs> no OBS VLAT still limit Camera checkbox not check so Microsoft speech API version e speak ng never uh, got this far yet. <laughs> It shouldn't be muted anymore, but uh, unfortunately, uh, I'm back. Uh, uh, you said it's fixed. So. Now it's good. What the heck? So I actually have to change the mic input from one source to the other one and then back. Then it is. It is actually. It is running at 48 kilohertz. Uh, yeah, 24 bits. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, yeah, it sucks. I'm sorry, but at least I'm glad it's working now again. So, it is Piotr, but thanks for the, for the tip. So, so, yeah, the combat that was taken away from us because they just feared me and ran away is uh, gone, but... Uh, did I get the inventory maze torch? Oh, 10 PCA. I, did, I did, did get the torches. Okay, from the Hasite 
he told me to take these torches and spread the red rooster to the other houses, which means, uh, you know, to set their roofs on fire, of course. Uh, now we can, if I check my tasks, I see. Current quest, plunder Hennersdorf, burn the remaining houses. Plunder Hennersdorf and burn the remaining houses. So, let's do it. As I was showing you, oh yeah, I was showing you the sonar and the walls. And the things. There's another weapon, which is useless. Uh, here in the village, you know, how do you expect, how could anyone expect, uh, like, peasants and villagers, poor ones, to have, uh, Anything better than the Hasid Mace. South. There's a dog here. There's a little doggy here. Okay. Dog. And that was was the enemy appearing in range, and now he's growling and barking at me, and I'm coming closer to him. Are you gonna bite me? You're not. You're gonna run away from me. Okay. Uh, what if I try to. But here you swing way too slowly. Health, 100%. Energy, 100% weapon drawn. Oh no, I'm doing it right. It was sheeted before and now it's drawn. I wanna... I wanna kill the dog. Should be possible. Should be possible, but tough for, for anyone. Where he? There are no enemies nearby. Enemies. Oh yeah. There are no enemies nearby. Thanks. There are no enemies nearby. Dog. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're mine. I'm just gonna get you. Eventually, I'm gonna do it because I'm gonna show everyone it can be done. How did you? He actually found some narrow spot to hide in between the walls. Wow, that's, that's smart of him. Did he manage to like squeeze in somewhere where I can't actually fit? If they can do that, that's... Wow. It definitely looks like that. Yeah, it does, it does. I just cannot fit in there. <laughs> the dog is smarter than me. Oh. Wow, I'm so sorry about that. Forget him again. Button Viber emoticon. Button chat badge carousel. Post pop but 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 button fighter mock love how this game starts with you slaughtering villagers then setting shit on fire. Slaughtering villagers then villagers then setting Forget shit on fire. Button BGT lover can you interact with the dog? Exactly. But button BGT lover or apply an equalizer on the mic or something. But yeah, it's fine now. Yeah. Button QB dev and sound is fixed. I was trying to apply. But button BGT well, lover can you use a debug menu or something to make an enemy spawn who won't run? Uh no. Why? Button BGT lover can you interact with the dog? Like uh, we're not. That alpha. Button QB dev, there will be combat later. Yeah, exactly, there will. Graphic. Smile. Button QB dev, he is too fast. He's too fast. Graphic. <laughs> Smiley face. For me. It's a dog. He's too fast for for uh, old slow. Graphic. Smile. Button. Pu graphic. Smiley face. Button fighter mock love how this game starts with you slaughtering vil button QB button BG button QB dev yeah war never changes war never changes button right. BGT lover lol I remember that rat catching game in the veil but there the rats weren't so fast QB dev there is obstacle between dog and Hinek. Mm -hmm. button fighter mock yeah sadly this is what they used to do back then too button BGT lover is that a bug or a feature uh what button QB dev there is obstacle between dog and Hinek. Uh, what is a bug or a feature Pause lads preview the, the obstacle Pause lads preview edit yeah I, I do genuinely believe uh, the dog managed to squeeze in somewhere. Like in in a crack in a wall or between the two walls or something that's too too narrow for me for Hinek. To Boss lads, button QB dev. There is obstacle oh, between fit. dog and Hinek. Button QB dev. There is another dog who will attack you, but this one runs away. Yeah. I prefer to not kill the dogs. Boss lads, preview. Dogs. The kill to prefer. I. P. Boss lads, preview. Yeah. I, I BGT really lover when the dog squeezed in DK where. Uh, I usually don't do. It button BGT lover when the dog squeezed in DK where. Out to squeeze in DK where. DK DK spit W. H. Pause lads preview. Yeah, me neither, but, uh, but you can hear it. Options. Um, 
Uh, you can hear that the dog is in front of me, but a little far away. He's not like, uh, do, 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 you know, and there's a wall in front of me and on my right. I can't get any closer because the wall definitely not this way. Never check. Oh, now I can. Dog. Yeah, but I'll let him live. I'll let him live. I changed my mind, uh, not only because I've been way too long here uh, with this one dog. Let's uh, let's focus on the southeast task at hand. But no, first east. north northeast. First, north. I can show you how you can explore just by using the compass and the sonar, sonar without having to you know to use navigation. I'm just running north, running straight ahead, following the wall on my left hand side I can get a little closer to it so it's more noticeable more audible but I'm basically this is not the way crawling right or or how do you scraping along the wall which is in front of me it's so close that I'm literally sliding on that wall ahead of me now that's not possible to do anymore. Now it just uh, doesn't lead anywhere. I have to take a s little sidestep to the left to make any progression. I'll hardly solve anything there. Or just uh, turn. Mm, Northwest. Directly turn. I know, Hinek, don't be so east. grumpy with me. South southeast. I east. know you're, gonna, east. Ha you're hardly gonna solve anything there. Uh, Alright then, let's try another way. Southeast. Let's try southeast. S south east. East. Now let's try east. As soon as I because I was walking north, so so let's try east rather than walking almost uh, exactly the way back. So I'm sidestepping around the houses which was in front of me. I stepped sidestep to the right. There's another one of my troops because he was neutral it was not an enemy sound an enemy sound see they're they're polite with me they're getting out of the way and you know what i can hear the river i can hear the river getting a little close closer so i'll try the same challenge i tried in the check stream i'll try to find the bridge and cross it. Ooh. But there's no. There are no enemies. Who saw me? Cross the bridge, probably. Yeah. Must be the other dog, or something. There's probably no more villagers left. I can't hear any, and we must have killed them all. Or they, rather, my my brothers must have killed them all. Can hear the river, so I'll try to reach it just using its sound and the compass and the sonar and uh, cross the bridge without the navigation assistance which is definitely possible and I I managed it a couple of hours ago but yeah I was uh, less tired back then and less concentrating on on a foreign language yeah I managed to walk around the there we go there we go, guys. This is uh, freedom exploration. Uh, exploration freedom for you. Wow. This is so cool. Like, isn't it amazing? I still can't believe it. I still can't believe I'm actually playing this and free to do all of this. There's this burning house here. Someone passed us by with a horse. Must have been one of our brothers. Hey. There are no enemies nearby. They see me and they flee too too fast for me to notice them on the on the sonar or to do anything about them to try to attack them. Yeah, there are some nice hens in here. Northwest. Walk around, 
try to look for things, which I am trying, and take Where it all in. Where am I going? What would North. I even do there? You know what? North, east, east, you south, east, south. Shut up, Nick. You should just be happy that we can be doing all of this and we can be exploring, you know, together. Even though. South, southwest, I'm west. Blind, and I'm still guiding you. You should be amazed at that. Southwest, south, south, south. Southeast, southeast, east. And not uh, angry with me because of that. Yeah, I want to. I want to find the stupid hands. Hands. There we go. There we go. Health, 100%. Energy, 100% weapon drawn. I'm running around with my weapon drawn. All happy, not suspecting anything and wondering why I'm not hearing any interactions. There's another weapon. Snapping uh, to it. Let's let's check it out. Let's see what it is. Pick up old rusty axe. Rusty Strength axe? twenty. No. Range zero comma seven fathoms. No rest. Rusty axes for Husite headmans. That would be below their level, you know. What's this? What am I approaching? Oh, nothing. Cause yeah, now we got it. I'm just playing. Okay, you wanted to get to get up Rossi so Right now, I am uh, just walking and exploring, not explaining as much anymore, as though I was genuinely playing the game and enjoying the game, which I am. <laughs> which I am, and I just found my first coin. Close. Coins. Coins represent collectibles in the game. You can find them in various places. Some will be noticeable at first glance, others you will have to carefully look for in order to acquire them. Types. There are two kinds. Grassy pregences are silver and more common. They can be found fairly easily. Ducats Bohemica are made of gold and it takes much more effort to find them. They are often hidden in optional areas, in remote corridors, or among other objects. User interface. You place all collected coins in your money pouch, the content of which you can find in the upper left corner of the screen. With each acquired coin, information about how many you have already collected and how many you left behind will be displayed. Usage. When searching for coins, you might experience new challenges, and if you collect enough of them, you will gain rare achievements. Perhaps you might want to try this during your second run through the game. Coins can also be used at certain points in the game's storyline. Yeah, and the uh, accessible help will be included, but the coins don't actually need any accessible help because it will be covered by the accessible help for user interface, where it says uh, to press Y to read your character properties. Let's see. We'll see. Let's see. 41 fathoms to the destination. Yeah, two different kinds of weapons, but I think... Pick up old rusty axe, strength, 20, range, oh no. 0, 0,7 fathoms. Pick up steel rod, strength, 10, range, 0, 0,7 fathoms. Never mind, but if I... Southwest. Someone's close to me. Walking around, and if I... Walk towards the... Pick up old rusty axe, strength, 20, I range, 0, comma, pick up old rusty axe, strength, 20, range, 0, comma, 7 fathoms. To pick up their, their eggs. Hey. Uh, there's our other dog who does not dog. fly, uh, who does not fly, but fight. I'm gonna kill this one. Try to kill this one because oh. Oh. Ah. hey you you're too fast for me. If I'm gonna get killed by a dog, I'm gonna be so so screwed and so lame. Hey, how many hits do you take? How many freaking... How many freaking hits do you take? I tried to uh, turn fast enough as he dodged me and he was like behind me. I tried to turn fast enough so that I would face him again and could attack successfully without giving him enough time to bite me. 
uh, you see, yeah, I'm mm, cruel to animals, and uh, and Greenpeace will like uh, put me in jail. But health, seventy five percent, energy, one hundred percent. Four, four cents game. Uh, we needed combat. Button BGT lover, is there some kind of place map where you get all the objects on your map and how far away they are from you? Like what direction? How many units? Uh, uh there's not, but no one has that. Like not even the sighted players uh, have this kind of kind of uh, information so everyone has to explore uh, the same uh, we get the interaction sound at the same moment they see the interaction QB dev you will explore it by yourself soon it's button QB away they are from you like what direction how many you button QB dev new button QB dev nope button QB dev even sighted players don't have map of area oh he explained button BGT lover it'd be a good alternative for people who don't want to use the assistant yet they don't know the map well enough to know where the objects are button QB dev just a minimap which shows small area around Similar area as audio cues shows. Right. Button BGT lover, I think it'd be a good idea to add some kind of separate menu with points of interest on uh, the map. Though maybe it's not necessary and it's just me not being used to the ways of the game yet. Right, right, I think QB so. QB dev, but it's, it's still optional. It's just not gonna Button QB dev, you will explore it by yourself soon. It, button QB dev, but it's still optional. You can pause lads preview. Button QB dev, but it's still optional. You can use navigation to go for story. Yeah, you can, exactly. Button QB. You can, uh, you just saw it, yeah? So you, you, you walk along the, or walk using the compass and the sonar and the sounds and the interactions you explore you don't have to use a navigation you build bgt map. lover yeah cruelty to animals that should be an achievement i think it is i'm not sure because i'm not uh, you I'm, i don't have it linked to read my steam achievements uh, oh thanks for the follow thank you so much the know the map well enough to know where the objects are but uh, bu button qb dev nui uh, uh, button bgt lover is there some kind of place map but but like dogs. button qb dev there is another dog who will attack you but this one runs away. It looks like, okay, I didn't miss Post, anything in chat. Post button BGT lover, yeah. Cruelty to animals. That's cool. So yeah, uh, you see, when you feel like it, you explore, you use the features that are there to just walk around and uh, build and make an idea of what the place looks like the same that uh, sighted players do. They still have to also have to explore. And if you just feel, get lost, genuinely lost, or you don't feel like a oh, crap. This, QB this Deb, sucks. I should probably add a sign with text, do not kill dogs. That sucks. Uh, get uh get uh, moving you you just use the navigation sign i hope i now you just really honestly confused me but i genuinely hope your bgt uh, lover lol yeah do signs read with tds make uh, more fun of me than uh than are seriously offended by by me killing the dog because i don't usually do it but i wanted some combat because the villagers run away from me ran away from me uh, if there's a uh, there's reading as well, there's book reading, letter reading. Piter mock just for the rest of the game. Have the guy write in his journal. He keeps having nightmares after killing the dog. There's oh that would that would work so fine. That would be so good. Uh, and you can even read encoded. QB Dev just joking. There are no signs encrypted, because medieval people can't read. Encrypted letters, so you will be reading that. But oh, that's so true. Commoners uh, do not read. Uh, you have books in like monasteries. Uh, and stuff, yeah. But village sign in a village in 1428. Pervni Chat OD Prime Gaming Flash Lex MM Hi all. Hi, hi. Button Lex QB Dev. I should button BGT Lover. LOL. Yeah. Button Piter Mock just for the rest of the app. But Pervni Chat OD Divaka. Button Graphic Ojnik Prime Gaming Button Flash Lex MM Hi all. Oh, Flash Lex MM. Pause Labs Review. Hi, Flash Lex MM. What? What? Welcome, welcome to the stream. Glad you're here. Uh. Just before Rowersdorf, I was instructed to join the people of the Polish Knight Dobzlav Pukola of Wieniawa. We have to go to Hennersdorf and then on to Zuck Mandel. On the other side from Hermannstadt, Otto of Lucy should secure us and together we should meet at Edelstein Castle. See, this is the journal enter entry from uh, before entering Riversdorf, from the briefing. Just before Rowersdorf. So there we go. 30 fathoms to the destination. Uh, Quest waypoint 2. Quest waypoint 1. Oh yeah, I still have to burn the houses. And let me show you something pretty cool. Even if you do feel like uh, following the navigation assistance and less like exploring by yourself, you uh, can actually switch between multiple navigation points. They're not available all the time in all the places, but where it makes sense or where the destination is known, uh, they are. So I'm just switching right now. I'm, I'm uh, toggling between them. Quest waypoint two, quest waypoint three, quest waypoint four, quest waypoint five, quest waypoint one. And it wraps, wraps back to one. Uh, either one. 44 fathoms to the destination. No matter, like, uh, whichever, one, whichever one you choose, uh, that's the one you will be following. And this is where I wanted to get actually, as I was exploring before, just walking around freely. This is where I wanted to, to end up. 
Hey. Explore carriage. Nice wagon. If we can't fit everything onto our own wagons, we can hitch a horse to it and take it with us. Explore carriage. And it's still available. The same interaction uh, remains there, and it's still it's still available for even to do multiple times. Explore carriage. Southeast. I hope to find the things that I am looking for, that I've been looking for this whole time. By the way, thanks uh, so much for staying up uh, so long, Petra, uh, for being here. Yeah, and I found these things. Uh, let me show you. Pick up steel rod, strength, no, 10, range, 0, 0,7 fathoms. But here we go. Pick up Here red potion. We have a red potion. Pick up warp clothes. Potions. Types. You can find many kinds of different potions and other types of drinks in the game. The effects of some of these will be clear from their name. For example, liquor. You will have to guess the effects of others. The color of the potion might give you a hint, or its appearance, or the place where you found it. In any case, be careful what you pour down your throat. Especially if there are strange symbols on the bottle. Certain potions could have magical properties and they will come in handy when solving puzzles and tasks. Potions tend to be hidden not only in warehouses and chests. There's no point in saving the common ones much, you will find more of them soon. Important messages. You will discover what the potion's effects are immediately after consuming it, often not just from the information panel on the right side of the screen. Alcohol. Almost every potion, except for absolute exceptions, is made from alcohol. Therefore, you should take into account that consuming them will have a certain kind of influence on you. The more potions you drink, the stronger this influence will be. Alcohol will wear off again after some time. Oh, what kind of influence could that be, I wonder? I've never Pick up worn Hussite shield. Uh, Defense effectiveness, 45. Alcohol. Yeah, that's what I wanted to get. New item acquired, worn Hussite shield. Now equipped. I can properly defend myself in combat. Finally. Inventory, worn Hussite shield. Defense effectiveness, Let me 45. Show you equipped. My Mace, whole, strength. My whole inventory. Worn Hussite shield. Defense effectiveness, 45. Equipped. Mace, strength, 25. Range, 0, 0,7 fathoms. See, it tells you automatically because uh, shields and a couple other things that have to be held with both hands are automatically equipped when you pick them up, and it tells you right away in. Uh, in the inventory. Pouch Ducket Bohemica, 0x Grassy Pragences, 1x. Worn Hussite Shield, Red Potion. Torch, 10 PCS. So it says even how many of, Options. A, of a given Res item we have. And what's here? Pick uh, up Steel Rod, I guess, Strength, yeah. 10, Range, 0, 0,7 Fathoms. Is just a Steel Rod. So, let me. Quest waypoint two. Quest waypoint one. Thirty nine fathoms to the destination. Let me move on with the main quest. Uh, well, Forty one fathoms to the destination. With, with the quest. Uh, with the storyline. Yeah, that's what I mean. Forty six fathoms to the Sorry, destination. Guys, I'm, uh, I suck today. I suck more than I would like to. Forty five fathoms tired. to the destination. Um, <laughs> yeah, I walked across the bridge again. Back to the. Forty side fathoms of the to the destination. Where we came from. Some weapons here again, which are. Pick up steel rod, strength, yeah, which are 10, crap. 37 fathoms to the destination. 27 fathoms to the destination. See, you can you can literally like alter the way you move, either using navigation 19 or just fathoms to the destination. your own, based on whatever you prefer at the given moment. Like 12 I, fathoms I, to the I destination. I feel like exploring and explaining the sonar, sonar anymore. And I want to get to the destination with the quest, so I just uh, used navigation this time. But I wouldn't three fathoms to the destination at all, uh, at least in here, in this place. Two fathoms to the destination. And you see, I'm at the destination. But two fathoms it's to the destination. Kind of uh, cycling, uh, uh, wrapping me around, turning me around. Two fathoms to the destination. I never seem to be able to reach that uh, spot. Hmm. Wonder what I should be doing. Current quest plunder Hennersdorf burn the remaining houses. Oh, burn the remaining houses. So what Inventory if I, torch, 10 PCS. What if I do this? Equip the torch. Throw the torch at the house. Yeah, yes way. Item lost torch. See? Inventory torch, this 9 PCS. Just, uh, this is just so, so cool. 15 how, fathoms to the destination. How all of this works uh, seamlessly together. I threw the torch on the at the house, I lost it, and I didn't even have to switch to the quest waypoint 2 because the point 1 uh, just disappeared as I did it. Quest waypoint 1. So what's now quest waypoint 1 is... Quest waypoint 2. Quest waypoint... Uh, what was before? What was quest waypoint 2 before is now 1. 
Quest waypoint three. They're just they just all moved. I'm oh, sorry, guys. It's my alarm clock. It should not be ringing at all since I have everything. Uh, I have flight mode. I have uh, the sound muted, but never mind. Quest waypoint four. Waypoint four. Quest waypoint one. Waypoint one. So there's only four now, and it, where there used to be five before. Inventory torch equipped. Nine. Eleven fathoms to the destination. Throw the torch at the house. Item lost torch. And I will. I'm actually gonna show you. Quest, quest waypoint one. Not. Twenty four fathoms uh, to the destination. Too long from now. Not in. Not. Yeah. Not too long from now. Uh, how. Eighteen how fathoms to the destination. That you can actually add your own custom points. Ten fathoms uh, to the destination. Places where you need to be coming to more often, for example. Three or fathoms to the destination. It, you you suspect you'll need to be getting back to the place at some point. Three fathoms to the destination. To Inventory find. torch, eight PCS. Throw the torch at the house. It was difficult for you Item to lost find torch. that place. Inventory so torch, you, seven PCS. Eight fathoms to the destination. Put a custom point to anything, whatever you wish. Four fathoms to the destination. Throw the torch and at you the can house. Then just uh, switch to that custom point and uh, use it. Item lost torch. To find places you've been to. Inventory torch. Before. Six PCS. Sixteen fathoms to the destination. I don't even. You see, I don't even have to be switching among the individual quest waypoints manually. They Fourteen just, fathoms to the destination. They just do it seamlessly by themselves as. Uh, Pick up hammer. Pick up old rusty axe. Strength. Twenty. Five fathoms to the destination. Throw the torch at the house. Task completed. Item lost torch. It's just incredible. Task, Task completed. completed. And the other one as well. I plundered uh, Hendersdorf. New task. I got a new task. And my task tracker task list now reads... Current quest speak to Dobslav Pukala. Speak to Dobislav Pukala. Okay, I will. Four. Four. Button Nasta Venetia 2. But after Out of I read bu my messages... Button Graphic Ojnik Prime Gaming Button Flash Lex MM Nice Sounds. Nice Sounds. Button Graphic Ojnik Prime Gaming Button Flash Lex MM Hi All. Thank you. But button Piter Mock I would maybe add the distance to the different waypoints when you switch between them if... You want to not spend as much time walking. Button QB oh, Dev, you can press navigation button to get distance to point at any time. Right, right. That was actually my my idea to have it removed. It did actually used to do this to do this before. Uh, so as soon as you toggled to the point, uh, it set the distance, and it, I found it annoying. Believe me. Um, well, this is up to personal preference, uh, sure. But believe me, that my experience was. When uh, I'll show you in a couple of seconds. If you have uh, a couple important custom waypoints that you needed to make for different little objects in a tricky place that's difficult to navigate, that has narrow alcoves and whatever, uh, and they're like uh, two fathoms apart, you, you don't want that to, to happen to you. Uh, you don't want to have it read every time and be spammed with uh, with this information, so it's uh, always much easier. BGT lover, to... well, then why not make it a toggle in a eleven Y for people that like it? Ah, uh, could be, could be. Yeah, button why graphic. Not? Why not? But I just, uh, I don't think anyone would. Maybe, maybe you would turn it on. You would figure SLG out. SLG nineteen eighty eight. Maybe have a sound or message telling when a waypoint for a quest has been removed. Oh, not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. You want button QB Dev, you can press navigation button to get distance to point at any time. You can. Button Graphic Ojnik Prime Gaming button Flash Lex MM. Is there also a menu or possibility to learn game sounds? Yeah, there is. I, I've, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be... Button QB Dev, yes. ...going through it uh, right now because I did it uh, an hour or more ago. Button uh, Graphic Ojnik Prime Gaming button Flash Lex MM. That is very nice. You'll see it Button BGT the... Lover Well. Then why not make time. it a toggle in a 11 Y for yeah, Button SLG okay, 1988. Make Post Labs button. I think... Uh, well, I'm, maybe I'm just biased. I mean, everyone is biased. I One th do genuinely believe you'll turn it on and turn it off again after five minutes because you'll realize it just makes no sense, like it's no use. But why not? Why not? Why 59 not fathoms to the destination. You see fields and village buildings around you. Some of them are on fire. Why not make it a toggle and why not... Um... 58 fathoms to the destination. But, you know, uh, if you've ever heard uh, uh, watched The Last of Us Part 2, it makes no sense. It just uh, it just uh, played a sound as soon as you follow kept following the uh, waypoint and you reached your destination, and it just moved on to the next one. It just moved on to the next one, and uh, that destination fifty five fathoms to the destination just no longer existed. It uh, seamlessly leads you fifty four fathoms to the destination. Follow one another, one after another like a chain. 
so 50 fathoms to the destination. A concept, one of the concepts we definitely wanted to keep here. 51 fathoms and, to the destination. Uh, yeah, and use it. We see 35 fathoms after to the destination. Having plundered the village, we have to cross the bridge again. Quest waypoint one. So quest waypoint one. Now there's just one quest. Point. 34 fathoms to and the destination. Obviously, obviously means that the is on the. Or was 30 right, fathoms to the, the destination. Other side of the bridge. Now we're on the same side. We're getting closer. I Health, believe. Seventy-five percent. Energy, one hundred percent. This thing here is just the carriage that we explore explored carriage. Previously. Yeah. Thirty-two previously. fathoms to the destination. Exactly. West. By the way, you can also get your coordinates at any time. M ninety-three M one hundred and sixteen. Uh. So. 29 fathoms to the destination. If there's a tricky place you get lost, it serves as a Just before rower's door. Oh, I would as a kind of uh, kind of reminder. 21 fathoms to the destination. To see if we've been here before or not. 11 fathoms to the destination. 4 fathoms to the destination. Talk to Dobslav Pukula. And this here is the talk to character sound. As well as the NPC, you know, uh, thing. That means the NPC is close by. It's done, brother Dobyaslav. It's getting dark. We should start thinking about where we're going to camp. We're too exposed here. We should find a safer place, somewhere near Yanostorf or Peterstorf. The night will be lit by fire. There's Small, a cut there. In the West! <laughs> the poor voice, English voice actor could not say that sentence in one go as a whole. Hmm. Really? It's in the direction of Yana's door. None of the brothers were supposed to be there, were they? They were not. The only things that should be on fire around here are things that we set fire to ourselves. Get out of there, you swine! Get out of there! Heretics! God will punish you all with his merciless hand! God is already punish. punishing, and as his instrument, we punish all who do not live according to God's law. Leave me alone! I know the bishop himself! You will regret this, you monsters of hell! For whilst they trust in idols which are without life, though they swear amiss, they look not to be hurt. But no, for please, two things they alone. shall be justly punished, because they have thought not well of God giving heed to idols, and have sworn unjustly in guile despising justice. Stay for it is not me, the power of them by whom me. they swear, but the just vengeance of sinners always punisheth the transgression of the unjust. Don't you interrupt Divish's sermon? He doesn't like it, and this is what he does if someone interrupts him. <laughs> Brother Hinek, there is Hasai take your people, for you. get the horses, and go there. If the bishop's people are coming from the west, we must be prepared. Maybe it's the soldiers of Elderstein Castle. The devil knows how much the crew Conrad left there. Just take a look and come right back. We'll finish up here in the meantime and get ready to march. Understood. Task completed. Okay, and reached the destination as well. New task. Now, our task is going to be to... Current quest, get a horse. New task. Oh, get a Current horse quest, get a horse, speak to Divish. Speak to Divish. Three fathoms to the destination. New task. Father, get on your horse. We're going west. All right. Because he was right, task right, here, behind you. right here in the cutscene. Uh, when he was uh, reprimanding that villager and then beheading him. Current quest, get a horse, speak to Straw. Hey, hit Four it. fathoms to the destination. Get a horse, and it's I also to need to speak to Straw. Hey, you know what? Mount the horse. You know what, Dabesh? You've reached your destination. You better stop telling me what to do. 33 fathoms to the destination. Got a horse now. And 34 fathoms really to the destination. We get on a horse. It's practically 32 fathoms to the destination. Possible to make him obey your commands. <laughs> 25 turn, fathoms turn to the destination without the navigation. 13 fathoms to the destination, which is to be expected. I guess. I think just to be expected. One talk to straw. Riding a horse. There we go. Task hey, completed. Straw, back into the saddles. We're heading west. We've seen smoke. 
Of course. New task. On your horses, men. We're heading out. New journal entry. So again, all the NPC sounds, all our troop gathered in uh, formation again. After we burned down Hennersdorf, we noticed smoke in the west. Pukula sent me and the guys to investigate. Maybe Bishop Conrad's people are trying to get in on our backs. For Pos Lads Preview. Complimentary landmarks. Link curtain figure graphic curtain. Out of figure link curtain. Out of preview. Button QB dev yet. Button Piter Mock I would maybe add the distance to the different. Button QB dev yes. Button graphic Ojnik Prime Gaming button Flash Lex MM that button BGT lover well. Then why not make it a toggle in button SLG 1988 maybe have a sound or message telling when away button BGT lover okay. That made me remember the Inquisitors from history class. Pos Lads Preview. Yeah. Pos Lads Preview edit. Right, right, button. right. <laughs> one, th one. Uh, the Hussite priests uh, were pretty much like this. 55 fathoms to the destination. Even though their interpretation of fate. 54 fathoms to the destination. And of uh, like the mo what's what's moral and what's right. 52 and what's fathoms just, to the destination. It's kind of kind of disputable in in some ways. 37 fathoms to the destination. I'm not gonna get into that topic right now because. Uh, 22 fathoms to the destination. Because uh, <laughs> would be way too difficult. Interactions while on a you horse. You can't dismount your horse now. Thirteen fathoms to the destination. To be made Leave area so that they will not be announced. By the way, because you just can't get off anyway. You can't dismount anyway. So you can't dismount the horse anyway. So you know about the interaction, but uh, you don't. You never. You can never reach it. You can just see it, and it's actually. Yeah, I believe it was the, the carriage that I explored before. Now I have to. Seven fathoms Obviously to the destination. We have to move on. I have to leave this area in order to move on because. Three fathoms to the destination. It doesn't go anywhere else. See? You've reached your destination. See? Now it tells me beautifully. Game saved. Loading. So we'll be examining the smoke in the west. We'll. Because, uh, as the. As, who was it? Who said it? Dobesh, I think, he said. Uh, 128 fathoms to the destination. That should be burning here. It, it's by our own hand. So 115 fathoms to the destination. They don't like anyone, you know, stealing their job and plundering. 99 the house fathoms to the destination. The villages and burning the houses for them. It's our job, man. 101 Get fathoms to the destination. Stick to yours and let us do ours, and we'll all be fine and we'll be just. 91 friends. fathoms to the destination. 79 fathoms to the destination. Three open space in front of us. We're 63 fathoms to the destination. Riding, we're just trotting straight ahead for the most part. Another tiny, 47 fathoms tiny to the destination. Uh, crossing forward for the most part. 30 fathoms us. to the destination. This is the open space. You're course. sitting in the saddle of your steed. You see fields and village buildings Where? around you. You're sitting in the saddle of your steed. You see fields and village buildings around you. 17 fathoms to the destination. You're sitting in the saddle of your steed. You see fields and village buildings around you. Some of them are on 12 fathoms to the destination. Everything is scorched, but I don't see any bodies anywhere. Maybe the locals themselves? You think they'd set fire to their own village? And ran off. Maybe into the woods around the village. And they're watching us right now. But why would they set fire to it themselves? Good point, Hinek. Good point, me. And that was a kind of stupid Look, suggestion. Look, for the strong. West. More smoke. Let's go. 154 fathoms to the destination. 142 See fathoms to the destination. Nice, the nice, uh, steady trot. 126 yeah. fathoms to the destination. The horse is still going relatively straight. 110 fathoms to the destination. To the navigation. You're sitting in the saddle of your steed. You are on a forest path with a small river running beside it. There are woods. 104 There's fathoms the to the destination. The You're sitting in the saddle of your steed. You are on a forest path with a small river running beside it. There are woods all around. Yeah, there are woods all around. 103 fathoms to the destination. And, uh, was I 92 see? fathoms oh, to the yeah. destination. Uh, that it's important, just like it was in The Last of Us 2, it's important to listen to where the navigation leap comes from. 88 fathoms to the destination. Yeah, so if it comes from straight ahead, uh, you know that you're kind of, uh, you're okay, you're facing the, the, Destination directly, but if it comes 85 fathoms from, to the destination from a little bit off to the side, it means 73 fathoms to the destination. You're about to turn 
even more. 59 fathoms to the destination. To get closer to it, and if it keeps like going left to right to left to right, then 44 it's fathoms a good to the destination. That you should probably just slow down a little bit in order to try to. 33 fathoms to the destination. Uh, in the in a narrow space to follow the navigation. 18 fathoms to the destination. Your task There's completed. Someone over there. Catch them. Here. And New here's task. our first timed event. Countdown has started. Time until the arsonists get out of reach. One minute and fifty-eight seconds. New One journal entry. Sixty-nine fathoms Decided to the destination. Usually have, uh, not usually, Sixty-six have fathoms to the destination. One minute. And uh, seventy-two fathoms to the destination. Double the time of accessibility turned on because. Uh, Sixty-nine fathoms to the destination. Even though this place is relatively straightforward with the navigation. Sixty-four fathoms to the destination. There will be more places with the timed events. 64 fathoms to the destination. So simple and so straightforward, but you can of course turn it on at any time. 54 fathoms to the destination. Yeah, that's the whole point of the accessibility being there. We won't get any further 31 like fathoms this. to the destination. This mile. Being optional, we won't get any further like this this mile. Uh, 40 fathoms so to the destination. So we, we, we did. I'm now running on foot as you can hear. 33 fathoms to the destination. Let's get these arsonists. Time until the arsonists get out of 28 fathoms to the destination. I don't even care. <laughs> One minute. 18 fathoms to the destination. Hey, Hinek! Slow down! Wait for us! It might 10 be fathoms to the destination. And watch this. There is the first uh, closed captions on cutscenes. A huge rock blocked the cave entrance. How amazing is that? We, Game we, saved. We are told. Loading. To Servant. Information that we need to understand. Hinnak! Hinnak! I'm here! God protect us, what kind of sorcery was that? It closed itself. We have to find a different way. No, go back to Pukala. Tell him what happened. Bring the others here. All right. But be careful, Hinnak. Everyone back! Let's go! Quickly! Damn it! What now? Task Can't completed. See the tip of my own nose. New task. Well, you know, you know. Current quest: find a way out of the cave. The new, new task. I can't see the tip of my own nose either, and I'm not whining about it so much. Current quest: find a way out of the cave. Find out where the unknown men disappeared. Okay. Find a way out of the cave and find out where four, four, the four. unknown men disappear. Post button chat badge carousel. Pop pause labs preview. Button fighter. Why does it do this? Why you, can't it keep the position in chat OD the chat Button graphic Ojnik Prime Gaming button flash like but button fighter mock I would maybe add the distance. You but button graphic Ojnik Prime button QD dev yes. Button graphic Ojnik Prime button BGT lover well. Then why not make it a toggle it but button SLG 1988 button QD dev cool hope. But button SLG 1988 wow the audio cue starts to make sense to me. Button BGT lover, okay. That made me remember the inquisitive but button QB dev cool. Cool. Pope. Right. Button BGT lover, I got used to most of the more frequent ones already. That, button yeah, I told you. It, I told B you it's like half. Pope. Oh, we've been here for two hours, but I've been talking for ages and I haven't. Uh, I've been to the audio cue help just once, you know, when I was learning to play the game for myself. Uh, of course, I I I uh, checked uh, most of them multiple times, like, I don't know, five or ten times until they made sense, but it was much faster because it was uninterrupted uh, with anyone talking and explaining stuff oh, to me. Button BGT lover, I got used to most of the more. Button fighter mock, welcome to the first dungeon of the game, lol. Welcome to the first, right. Boss lads review. Exactly, welcome to the first 1, dungeon of the game. And a pretty uh, complicated one at that. Okay, so. Uh, hey Nick, I guess you don't, you're not used to being blind, right? So I have to do something about that. All right then. Inventory torch, All five right, PCS. Then. Fine. That's better. And we can actually... Northwest. I don't think West. I'll be going through the whole dungeon South. without navigation. Sorry about that, because that would take uh, way longer than we can spend here. But at least for now. At least for now, I'll just follow the sonar, sonar and walk like... Yeah, like... Find a way. I suspect I'm going. I'm sure those three sons of bitches are around here. Not going to win. And they'll jump at me from Good. the shadows. Sons of bitches will East. jump at me. East. Southeast. From the shadows. 
over Silesia. East. See, I'm just walking uh, by the Sonar and Compass. Now I heard interactions, so I'm gonna snap to them. But I'm exploring. I'm walking on my own. Explore scattered bones. They look human. I have to be careful or mine will be added to the pile. Explore scattered bones. Yeah, pretty possible. So let's be careful then. Let's be careful, my dear. Pick up grassy fragrances. My dear playable character. Come on, get it. Explore scattered bones. Human. I have to be careful. Pick up grassy prey. Explore scattered bones. Pick up grassy fragrances. Oh, grassy fragrances oh. acquired. Two slash five. Explore scattered bones. Okay, I just had uh, two interactions available, both within hand range or hand reach, pretty close. So I had to switch between them with the Q key. That's what I was talking about a little. Northeast. A little while ago. I think I should. East. Be Southeast. Going this way. Yeah. Looks. Looks like it. You are in a dark, dank cave. You can smell the rot all around you. Uh, that Microsoft Mark voice almost pronounces it pronounces it as you're in a dark, dank cave, but <laughs> it's actually damp. I can swear. Uh, I I swear I can uh, remember the text being actually spelled correctly as as damp. <laughs> Just following the walls, walking around, and trailing along the wall in front of me, or sliding the wall, uh, sliding along the wall in front of me, but also following the wall on my left. If there's a kind of alcove where I cannot fucking out, stop with me. Same here, same here. Wow, but it still genuinely does startle me every now and then uh, when I play this part. Some stupid bats, you know, in the dungeon. Uh, if there's an alcove that I can't walk through any further, I just take, strange lights. I just take like a step to the left or to the right, and even though I could have been walking uh, using the navigation assistance all along, all this time in the in the dungeon, you you can also see that it's perfectly possible to do without, and it works, and it it's fine. Uh, yeah, I, I I can tell you that I don't remember this because what's coming up right here right now is a maze and they actually sound these strange strange lights distance three fathoms these strange lights sound like an enemy which they actually well maybe are maybe are not but you need they're an element that are, it is not an object you can pick up or interact with they're not an enemy you can kill directly and they're not a host, uh, neutral NPC with whom you can talk, uh, to whom you can talk. But you need to be aware of them. Uh, so you can have the distance read out. Strange lights distance three fathoms. And you can have the auditory indicator of the enemy's position play. What, what happens if I follow them? Southeast. What kind of strange lights are those? Should I go towards them? I wouldn't do it if I were you. Something's telling me it's not gonna work well. End well for you. Southeast. Southeast. Put them kind of behind me. And this, what's, what's coming up here is a maze and those strange lights are trying to, yeah, now they got out of range, heard that? The, the there are no enemies nearby. Enemies, yeah. There are no enemies nearby. A deeper, deeper version of the same sound. When the first li uh, lights first appeared, strange lights. It gave me that sound. Southwest. I don't want to be doing that. And now when they, when he, when they got out of range, they played the same sound but a little deeper one. Where do I Northwest. Walk around you. North, north, northeast, northeast. Do I go east here? You see, I'm not. I'm east. not like faking this. I'm not playing this up, making this up. I honestly can't remember which way to walk through the maze, which is, which can take long. Strange lights. Even for a side character east. to. Where are you taking me, lights? Yeah, I shouldn't have. 
mean. I'm trying to. There we go. So your fairy lights, and you're trying to lead me astray. But what the hell? Strange lights. Uh, east. Are you southeast? South. Southwest. North. Northwest. Northwest. Saying, Hinek, I'm doing all I can to get away from them. Can I try this way then? But I'm. I'm afraid. I'm just walking. Now, I'm really walking back the way I came. Strange lights. I believe. I'm not, because there are other lights. There, there's second lights. Second set of... Strange lights. Try to keep them... As far... From the... No, no, no. From the sonar as possible. Just find a way around them. Northwest. Hmm. North. Northwest. North. East. Northeast. North. Strange lights. Can't even strafe in here along these walls because they're kind of uh, strange lights. Narrow and twisty, and it's a real twisty maze. And I'm what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make use of the custom points that I was praising just such a short while ago. So much. Yeah. Hey, wait, give me a second. I don't think... I don't think I'm actually going back. I think I might... Yeah! I might actually be able to make this. Even Damn it. my boots will get soaked uh, through. Even without the is dump here, and I smell decay in the air. Even without the navigation, it's tough, but it's meant to be tough. You know, this is a maze for every player, and you can get all mixed up in here for four minutes yeah hey wait I should have been watching my coordinates I I can tell that now but if I didn't do it since the beginning of the maze now there's not much point in doing it now it's my my bad my own ignorance and lack of imagination for what's coming hey what yeah it looks like i'm in a dead end definitely looks that way which is but yeah but it's really it's my own fault for, for button bgt lover yeah just use english to speak ms voices aren't that reliable button bgt lover honestly i mapped sounds mostly to what happens contextually not really the audio cues i mapped sound most to what happened Cont not button fighter mock welcomed button bgt lover honestly i mapped sounds mostly to what happens contextually not really the audio cues qb dev you are successfully returned to cave entrance smiley face yeah, I thought Button so. Button BGT lover, yeah. Just use English to speak. I MS voices so. aren't that or, reliable. Or rather... Button QB dev, he has this voice because of me. Or I rather feared, uh, feared so... Graphic. Smiley face. Right. Uh, if... Even if better, 
the, the deaf was the only one who didn't understand it. At least there's one person who... I can't understand to speak a word. Who, <laughs> exactly, who wouldn't understand Graphic, speak. smiley, fit, button, BGT, lover, A-H-H, okay. Just saying a speak pronounces stuff much better in yeah, general. Yeah, it does, it does. I, I use it uh, for, for my own work. Sure, I, I can't uh, say it. Button, BGT, single, lover, what happens if you go in the light? Single bad thing. Button, QB, dev, nothing really. They are just fairy lights. Speak. Right. Button, BGT, lover, I'm already lost. So yeah, I do enjoy it though. Right. Uh... QB, dev, feel free to change it. No problem with that. Button QB Dev, you are successfully returned to cave and graphic. Button QB Dev, feel pause labs review. Pause labs. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, I suspect it's so. So I usually speak for my own work. Uh, 1000. I can't say a single bad thing about it, but but not so much used to English he speak. Uh, I actually read English with Czech he speak, to be honest, and the same way uh, around with uh, the same way with other languages. I suspect it's so, but this is actually good news for me. Quest waypoint one. Quest waypoint one. what I can do. 186 fathoms to the destination. Is so I can just... South. I can get just turned once the right way, you know, to help myself a little bit, because I don't want to be here till the morning. And uh, find the lights again. If you walk into the light, uh, I believe I actually did a couple times. I walked so close to them that it would be the same thing as uh, stepping on them. Uh, these uh, lights and these kind of... We, we call them environmental enemies uh, internally for now. They don't harm you in any way, they just... Uh, well, this one doesn't harm you. Some do, but this, these lights... Because if you don't know what to do, no matter if you're blind or visual, a visual player, you instinctively may may think of trying to follow them, which you do, and they lead you totally astray, and they lead in a in a dead in a dead ended corridor, and so on. And this is uh, it gets it's easy until strange lights. Ah, there we go. It gets easy, or it stays easy until you first approach these lights. So what I do right here south is i remember i'm facing south now i i'm hearing the uh, fairy lights on my left and i create custom waypoint one created custom waypoint one right here and try to evade them hmm. as much as i can this looks south Southwest, southwest. Kind of good. So the freeway which led away from the lights was to the west. Okay. Trying to. Strange lights. Trying to go to the west. Hmm. Are these the second lights already? Or am, am I coming back to the first ones? Uh, yeah, it must be the first ones. Northwest. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm coming back the way I came. Let me find some some narrow place. South. But I don't want to be coming from the south. Uh, I, I mean, I don't want to be heading south. Yeah, I'm blind. Really blind. Uh, am I getting Quest Waypoint One South? One hundred and forty-nine fathoms to the destination. No, no, no. Custom Waypoint One. Am I getting closer or farther away from that? Fourteen fathoms to the destination. North. Uh, which means well, North guys, I'm getting really south, tired. south. I'm getting really tired. Strange lights. Strange lights. I think. This is new. This is new. I think I'm going the right way because right here we have two of them close to each other. Southeast. And I'm trying East. To... Yeah. This. Okay. I'm. I don't want to jinx myself too soon, but it definitely looks looks promising just because it's a new. Now left them behind me and got out of their out of their range, or rather they got out of my range. Hey, I'm in a in a kind Str of strange lights. Kind of alcove again. Hmm. 
I hate this maze. I managed to complete it without navigation a couple times. Well, like two or three times at the best. At best. But it always took me same age as you can hear you can hear right here East. right now. Hey, wait, Strange lights. Wait, wait, wait. Water. I'm not. Okay, I'm not. I really jinxed it. Another. Of God. <laughs> hey, which way do I walk around you? Guys, is this just as annoying for you to watch as it is for me to to go through i think it's time to officially declare this streamer a lame a lame moron who even though he consulted for the accessibility northeast east of east game east southeast can't strange even, lights can't even do the maze and call it a day and not not end the stream but just walk through this stupid maze with with the navigation because i'm i'm not good at mazes in any game or in or in real life doesn't matter i'm just i'm just terrible at this i'm just really terrible my mobility in real life is not the greatest either to be honest with you like i'm not like limited in wh where I can go, what I can do. Uh, it's not preventing me from going wherever I want or doing whatever whatever I want, but I tend to struggle sometimes. I tend to have to keep repeating one and the same uh, route several times if I want to keep remembering it for the rest of my life. South. I'm walking back and I... Quest wave, custom waypoint one. 30 fathoms to the destination. Looks like... You know what? All custom waypoints cleared. Four. You know what? Pause lads review. I'm gonna read the chat. B button QB dev, feel free to change it. No prop. Button BGT lover BTW. This great a speak. Button Piter mock. I'm more of an eloquence person. A speak is way too heavy on the high frequencies. But to button BGT lover BTW. This great a speak voice is on Linux too. Button Piter mock. I'm more of an eloquence person. Yeah. A speak is way too heavy on the high frequencies. As well, that's but each their own. True. Graphic. Teach Smiley. Pause lads review. Right. One. One. Th quest waypoint one. 129 fathoms Sorry to the destination. Guys. I know I just disappointed Strange you. Lights. And now everyone's going to 134 flood. fathoms you to the destination. Games that the forum with how this guy can Strange lights. 126 fathoms nothing. to the destination. But uh, Christ, there's more and more water here. So close. 118 oh fathoms God, to the destination. I was so close. I was so close. Like I don't how many 10 fathoms from this next part of the maze that I was trying to reach. 113 fathoms All to the destination. Time, I wanted to. I wanted to. I know I have to. 109 walk, fathoms to the destination. Walking or wading through this water. Hopefully I'm out of the maze now, but this doesn't look like the way out. 101 fathoms. You are in a dark, dank cave. You can smell the rot all around you. What is this? Torches on the wall. Where am I? What do we have here? Light torch. Or torch. Yeah, why not? Why not? I'm gonna light it. Uh, just so that if we have anyone 95 else fathoms to the destination. watching besides beside Peter the dev. Uh, 94 fathoms to the destination. Will be able to Game save. Appreciate. Yeah, right. What's coming next? Light torch. What's coming up. I just lit two tor Two torches, I hope. 89 fathoms I can't to the destination. More interactions. Oh, there's one more. So I'm probably gonna light light torch. Three torches, which should be more. Eighty-five fathoms than to the destination. For anyone to watch visually, what's about to come? Okay, one more because I don't want to. I don't want to bother. Light torch. Bite, bite when. Seventy-nine fathoms to the destination. When uh, this. Happens. Servant. Servant. Damn it! Who are you? Whom do you serve? You shouldn't have come here, Hussite. Now you will die. I think Item. seventy-seven fathoms to the destination. You may actually be right. 
72 fathoms to the destination. 71 fathoms to the destination. I've got the clue to attack. One, one's down. 69 fathoms and to the destination. I heard him on the. S no, he's not down. I heard one of those. 67 fathoms to the destination. Both sides, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. And I Game attacked. over. You have died. In these times, but there is no greater tool chosen by God tool. against the heretics than your holy order. It entered the world at the exact time when new false teachings started spreading through the world. Pope Gregory 13. Reload checkpoint. So here we have some game over quotes which can be inspiring or entertaining or downright annoying and angering <laughs> when when you die horribly like I just did. And we can reload. Back to main menu. Or back to main menu. Reload. And I'm not chickening out. I'm not going to, to main menu. I'm, I'm completing this stupid Loading. Encounter. 93 fathoms to the destination. Because if I couldn't walk through the maze and then not even... 86 fathoms to the destination. The encounter, then what good would I be for? New journal entry. Service. That's the Service. question. Press again to skip. Yeah. Item 77 fathoms Better. to the destination. More, more, more serious and deep question than to be or not to be. Come on, come. Close. Oh. Options. Exit. Back. 70 fathoms to the destination. Oh, the, the, the big map of Silesia instead of from the navigation. 66 fathoms to the destination. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. 65 fathoms to the destination. Hey. Let me be. Close. See, and that's... 64 fathoms to the destination. That's with... One's down. This time, I'm, I'm sure. 63 fathoms to the destination. We heard it. And... New, there, there are no enemies nearby. Uh, and the second one, there are no ebonies nearby. And we heard it <laughs> that this was with uh, enemy AI on slow. Health, 59%. Okay. Energy, 100%. And I'm still even alive. It's not too bad. Um, you heard it. As soon as I sheathed, sheathed the weapon, uh, I started hearing the interactions coming up. This, this is just a weapon. Let's check it out, but I don't, I'm not gonna be wanting it. I'm sure about all it. Alright, alright. Where is that last scoundrel? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering too. I killed just two of them. More interactions appeared, because that these sounds played on their own without me doing anything. Pick up old rusty axe. Strength, 20. Range, 0,7 fathoms. Yeah, I don't want old rusty axe. It's still weaker than my mace by 5. Uh, oh. Pick up strange artifact. Yeah, here we go. Pick up strange artifact. What is that? What is that? New item acquired strange artifact. This sounds like some paper kind of, right? The last Pick up one. letter. Pick up red potion. Oh yeah, so there's multiple things here. There's New item acquired. Pick up letter. There's a second red potion. And because uh, we still have one from uh, Reversdorf, if you remember. And there's a letter. Close. Reading. You may come across interesting objects during your wanderings, books, and letters. Since you are not just some common peasant and you were lucky enough to have received a good education, you are able to read them. Except for a very rare few, these objects are optional and you will manage to complete the game without them. Books. Books contain additional information about the world in which the game takes place. They intertwine the story with real history. You will learn various interesting facts from them, but you can also read the descriptions of magic rituals or recipes for magical potions. Letters. Missives and letters have their own recipients and they will reveal more about the motivations of individual characters as well as secret information which was not supposed to fall into your hands at all. This could be helpful in deciding how to proceed or discovering valuable hints. Encrypted messages. Some people might want to keep certain information truly secret. That's where encoded letters and secret scripts come into play. In the section dedicated to deciphering, you will learn how to decipher the contents of such messages. So, in the combat scene, I was making use of the fact that I still had a long way to go to the destination. More like 70 fathoms or how, how, how far it was. So, if I wanted to get uh, some room between myself and the enemies, I just fl fled away with uh, uh, using the navigation or I could just turn manually you know away from them so that if you know an enemy is near and you hear no sonar sound it just means you're facing away from him the sonar cannot see behind you just like uh, a, a person has to turn in real life to be able to look behind them uh, so I could even either turn or make use of this navigation which I did to run away get some room and then snap to them to the closest enemy with a B key, a fine tune the direction with my arrow keys, uh, get closer, walk closer to him, try to keep up the pace as they were running or uh, uh, 
evading me as well, trying to flank me, trying to get behind me, trying to hit me from behind. Had to keep up with all of that. And when I when I heard the cue, cue that I can attack, or when I just assumed it's the right time now, then do my attack and hope I'm gonna be fast enough to hit them. Um, it's pretty much controlled the same way a uh, sighted player would. Uh, they just use the mouse to turn in combat, but that's the only difference. Uh, you can do both. You can do both. The keyboard controls still work, but you can choose whichever you prefer. So now we we heard about reading, and you see close that reading. You may come across interesting objects during your wanderings, books, and letters. Since you are not just some common peasant and you were lucky enough to have received a good education, you are able to read them. See, since you're not just some common peasant and you were lucky enough to have received a good education, you're able to read them. So not everyone can read at all. It's not common practice at all in these times in this region. Pick up old rusty axe, strength, 20, range, 0, no, 7 you. fathoms. Thank you, I don't care, but what I do care about is... Inventory torch, letter to gear, red potion, 2 PCS. Since I got two red potions already and it doesn't seem to be no other kinds of potions anywhere yet why not try you know drinking this one to see what it does hope it heals me hey health has been restored alcohol is starting to affect you i pick up old rusty axe strength 20 range oh, zero comma seven fathoms since it's been interrupted uh, by the interaction with the axe still being nearby i can easily just repeat it pick up old rusty axe strength 20 item lost red potion Item lost red potion. Pick up old rusty item lost red potion. Alcohol is starting to affect you. Starting to affect me. Pick up old rusty item lost red potion. And I lost. Alcohol is starting to yeah. affect you. Health has been restored. I lost the red potion. Uh, alcohol is starting to affect me and my health has been restored. Uh, let's read the letter. Inventory red potion. Torch. Four so PC. I have one red potion left in case I need it. Letter to Gerhard. Letter to Gerhard and. Uh, Let's read that, and then I'll check your messages again. Gerhard, my friend, times are bad. There's nothing to wait for. Our moment is coming, even though it's sooner than we originally planned. Gather your people together and come to Hennersdorf. The local parish priest, Father Herbert, will be your liaison. You can rely on him, and he has already been initiated. The whole village will follow him wherever you order. The same goes for the neighboring Petersdorf. I look forward to seeing you soon. Arn. Arn. Some, some kind of arn Pick up old rusty axe. Okay. Strength. Five. Five. Button Piper, the radar and coordinates you can do it on your own or you can just have it guide you. But graphic, smiley face. Each their own. Button Piper mock, I'm more of an eloquence person. Each graphic, button Piper mock, this is where it's cool that you have different tools for different play styles. Yeah, Between the radar and coordinates you can do it on your own or you can just have it guide you. Exactly, and you can switch like in the middle of a scene or you can use partly one tool, partly the other one. You can just try walking blindfolded if you feel like it for a second. Button QB Dev, I have to go to bed. I probably missed you already, uh, Petr. Sorry that I'm checking, I'm seeing this message only now, but if you're still here, uh, thanks for sticking with us for so long, man. Uh, I appreciate the effects it. of alcohol have passed away. And uh, have a good night. You deserve it after today <laughs> and, and, and yesterday and the whole previous two years. Yeah, uh, since I didn't pause the game, alcohol has passed away uh, as I read the chat. Graphic, smiley face. See you next time, guys. See you next time, right. Pause lads right. review. Absolutely. Uh, so, good night if you're still here. Uh, and even if you're not. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we read that letter to Gerhard from some Arn. 1,400 1, and 64 fathoms to the destination. <clears throat> They're just these two axes, uh, rusty axes that they were holding. Nothing, 63 fathoms to the destination. Wor worthwhile to me. So, let's just keep moving. 59 fathoms on. to the destination. Anyway, Health, 100%. Energy, 100%. Good. 52 fathoms to the destination. Yeah, I had to see. 47 fathoms to the to destination. Swerve around the kind of kind of alcove or something. You are in a dark, dank cave. You can smell the rot all. 42 fathoms to the destination. 37 fathoms to the destination. 32 fathoms to the destination. See, now it uh, was clearly nicely audible that I uh, used navigation, but it was like on my right, so I did 32 fathoms to the destination. To fine tune the. Again, the. 27 direction. fathoms to the destination. New task. Are you New journal entry. Me? What the hell is this? I don't know, Hinek. 
What did you write in the journal? I found the entrance to a large underground vault inside the cave. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Good question. 16 fathoms to the destination. I hope you're going to be able to answer it soon, because I don't know Explore right contrivance. Now. So con contrivance. Contrivance, contrivance. How do you even pronounce it? Let's explore that contrivance thing. Strange mechanism which seems to function as a lock. There's a cross-shaped opening in the center. Insert key. Insert key. Hmm. Insert wonder, key. Wonder what key could be used as the key. I pressed E. Nothing happened. Well, but I just picked up some strange artifact. Artifact. You know. A Inventory letter to Gerhard. Red potion. Minutes ago. Torch. Letter to Gerhard. So let's, strange artifact. Let's try that. Here it is. So I equip it. Equip. Insert strange artifact. And it changed the action title or the action action label interaction label changed so it looks like it's actually possible item lost this strange artifact work. yes it fits unlock metal door the i'm still standing in the same place the interactions are just changing as uh, things are happening they're reacting to what i'm doing open metal door okay open metal door close metal door 13 fathoms to the destination task completed Wow, the environment changed. I've completed my task. And what now? Do I get a new task? Current quest, find a way out of the cave. Find I out where the unknown man disappeared. I have... Oh, because there was a third task that I forgot to read. Sorry about that. It was like, I find a way to open the locked door, which I just did. So I still have to find a way out of the cave and find out where the two men... Current quest, find a way out of the cave. Find out where the unknown man disappeared. The unknown man disappeared. And the, the environment now reads... You are in a narrow passageway ending with stairs leading downwards. Ending with stairs leading down. 11 fathoms to the destination. Okay. Northeast. Yeah, you don't actually have to follow the navigation here, even if you're like even less skilled than me. Because. <laughs> can you hear it? There's the wall on your left and the wall on your right. It's a, Really, it's not very far apart. It's not. The, the description is not kidding. The corridor is quite narrow. It's true indeed. Northeast. It's not straight, as you can see. These maps in this game are not like uh, uh, right angled. Now you can just walk ahead, you know, you can just walk straight ahead. Because the sonar is not signal signaling any obstacle ahead. You've reached your destination. And? You've reached your destination. Leave area. I've repeated what it was saying. See, because it was said the two messages were set so close to each other that uh, it naturally interrupted, but we can repeat any time. Okay, you leave area. This must be the staircase then, according to the descriptions. There is no, there is nowhere else to go. Nothing else to do here. No interactions. No nothing. Just a narrow corridor with nowhere else to turn, nowhere else to go. So, yeah, leave area. Why not? New journal entry. Game saved. Loading. There is a rope bridge in the middle of the spacious area. In front of the stairwell are three passages, each closed with a portcullis trapdoor. And guys, I'm excited about this. I'm so excited to show you this. Here goes our first environmental puzzle, uh, which is fully described with its own little hints and accessible labels during, uh, during its progress, as well as this main environmental description for this huge area, which is uh, important for us to understand, you know, what's going on. There is a rope bridge in the middle of the spacious area. In front of the stairwell are three passages, each closed with a portcullis trapdoor. What did Hinek uh, write down? I couldn't find my way out. Instead, I found a way to another level through a locked door. Right. Exactly what happened. Current quest, find a way out of the cave, find out where the unknown man disappeared. So, five, five. Any B button chat, badge carousel. Any button SLG 1988, how does the alcohol affect the character? Any new S button QB dev, I have to go to bed. Graphic, see you next time. Button uh, SLG 1988, how does the alcohol oh, affect the sorry, character? Sorry, 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 sorry. Pause lads review. That Pause I lads review. Didn't notice this before. Could have shown you with both uh, while I still had uh, both red potions or even more. Uh, basically, what it does, it, it makes, uh, is, what it does is it makes the screen visually kind of blurred. Gradually, the more potions you drink, the more blurred it becomes. And uh, it also does it auditorially. It's almost indistinctible at, at first. You can hardly hear it, but if you drank like 
two or three or four more potions uh, you could still uh, and, I, and I really like what, what's happening with that because the audio positioning the detail of the stereo panning or HRTF uh, positioning of the sound that doesn't change you can still hear like it's uh, on your left on your right but it gets kind of blurry and echoey and and wobbly and good oh, hey, like flanges a little bit so you 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 can no longer be as as sure like about the distance of the sound uh, between you and the sound or about oh, hey wait was this a clue for for a door or for a key or for a interaction like the cross or like the carriage so that's what it does it does both it works in both ways it does it does it both visually and auditorially and it as it passes and you and the message is read to us uh, yeah even the auditory effect passes and this happens no matter if you have accessibility on or off it automatically uh, distorts or like tempers with both the visuals and the audio at the same time button chat badge carousel so pause lance preview edit pause lance button slg 1988 how uh, does the alcohol affect the character that's pretty cool i think one one th so let's try to tackle this environmental challenge shall we 50 fathoms to the destination been waiting for this whole time the whole time there's some interactions here. Hey, wait, wait a second. I wanted to do something. There is a rope bridge in the middle of the spacious area. I read in front this. of the current quest. Find a way out of the cave. Find out where the unknown men disappeared. I read this as well. Hmm. What did I want to do? Not sure, but I'm gonna explore. There's a hole on the floor. Explore all the interactions I can definitely see. Now it got so wide uh, suddenly that there's no obstacles anywhere. You can't hear any walls at the moment such a huge space that it's even bigger than the range of the sonar but I'm following there was a oh, oh hope it doesn't fall with me hey, hey, hey wait I didn't want to get here I found my way directly to the to the bridge which is mentioned here there is a rope bridge in the middle of the spacious area to in front of the stairwell bridge. are three passages each closed with a portcullis trapdoor that's why Hinek was saying oh I hope it doesn't fall with me because I was, you know, walking straight ahead, no obstacles around, and I found my way directly to the bridge, which is, which is in the middle of the space. But what I wanted to do was, yeah, I wanted to do this. Pick up brick. And the other thing that, the other interaction that I just heard, because who knows, you never know what bricks might be. Good New for. item acquired brick. There's another one. Pick up brick. Okay. Uh, yeah, this this interaction queue is very subtle, but it's there. New item acquired brick. What are the levers used for? What are the levers used for? Use lever one is raised. See that? See that? They're numbered. They're numbered and it tells you the state. It's raised or lowered. This is just, I don't know. Custom waypoint one created. I can't find words that are good enough to describe what Petra's doing for us with this. Um, there's multiple levers. There's multiple levers. I don't want to be touching them yet. I want to see first, like how many levers levers there are, what they do, uh, what they might be connected to. I want to see the rest of the cave, but I have a hunch I'll be needing to to come back to them. So yeah, there's. Quest waypoint there's one. There's my quest. To, uh, there's my custom waypoint custom one. Custom waypoint. Quest wa thirty-four fathoms to the destination. Yeah. I'm about to get to the bridge, and wait. Looks like there's another here. Use lever two is lowered. Okay. Custom waypoint two created. Custom waypoint quest waypoint two. one. Thirty-four fathoms to the destination. Let's explore the area, area a bit first. 44 fathoms to the destination. 44 fathoms to the destination. Oh, the bridge is narrow. I have to slow down. I have to... Okay. I first found it by complete accident. Strange step and grill. Okay, I'm out of the bridge. I'm already stepping on the stone or concrete uh, floor. And we heard two... Interactions, one on the left, one on the right, 
on the end of the bridge. And what's here is strange step and grill distance three fathoms as well. And for some strange reason, it's signaled as an enemy. Hmm. I wonder what this could do. Middle platform pressed. Left port call is opened. Left hey. port call is closed. Oh. Hey, wait, 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 wait. It's harming me. Don't you do this to me. You're mean. I'm just a poor, helpless Hussite who's trying to find a way, find a way out of this cave. Health, 67%. Energy, 100. Well, 67% is still fine. Hmm. So what do I do? What do you think? Fuck. See, button SLG1988. How does the alcohol effect? What do you think? Pause lads review it. Thing, guys. Pause lads review edit. Well, nothing. But, 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 because you're... One, I one. hope it's because you're entranced and fascinated and not because you're so bored that all of you fall asleep, fell asleep already. <laughs> Try to find... Uh, a wider space and if we walk, walk very slowly and carefully, it's just there on our right, so we can walk Pick up torch. the stepping grill. New item acquired torch. Hey, wait. Okay, good. Had to face back. The way I was looking before. No, I don't want to stand on the bridge again. There we go. There goes our. There goes our. Does it? Ah, no, it doesn't. I wanted to say. There goes. Right our, platform pressed. A wider space. So we see there are more platforms. Okay, I'll show you the left one because I can easily walk around that trap door using the sonar this way and I can just hey it's like left platform pressed middle port call is opened there we go there we got the left platform middle port call is closed and you step back and the platform gets raised again and the port, port call is uh, closes but, so, the, the point of the puzzle now is to determine which platform opens which portcullis. Use lever 3 is raised. And there's another lever, okay. So this was the left interaction. Custom waypoint 3 created. We heard right after I walked off the bridge. No, 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 no. I don't want to step on you. I want to get away from you. Where are you? Use lever four. There is raised. you are, and he, we have custom our, waypoint four created. Uh, another custom waypoint, and it looks like there are four levers. One on the left. At the beginning of the bridge, one on the right at the beginning, one on the left at the end of the bridge, and the last one on the right at the end of the bridge. So it's kind of more or less in the corners of the in uh, of the cave of the entire area, if you will. Custom waypoint two, custom waypoint three. Okay, so let nine me fathoms try, to the destination. Let me try one of these levers that are here on Five this side to the, of the bridge because I feel yeah you see I just um, chose my custom waypoint three you have to remember you have to remember the order in which you created them but I've never had to create more than like five five before you've reached your destination um, let's try using the lever a uh, lever three because I feel like uh, I feel like if I want to control to disable the the trap platform somehow then the lever controlling that mechanism would probably be somewhere on this side of the of the bridge closer to the 
platforms than on the other one, which is at the beginning of the cave. At least that's what I hope for. Uh, which would make more more logical sense to me. So let's do this. Hey, wait. Use lever three oh. is raised. Use lever three is lowered. Custom waypoint four. Now this is just amazing. Quest waypoint one. Thirty-seven fathoms to the destination. The quest and wa custom. Sorry, guys. The quest waypoint one is thirty-seven fathoms away, and, but the the trap is. Strange step in grill distance four fathoms. Four fathoms away, which means the navigation is clearly trying to lead me behind this uh, middle portcullis, which is also covered by the trap. You see if this. Lever three helped things. Oh, no, it, it has not. Custom waypoint one. Cust custom waypoint three. Custom waypoint four. Seven fathoms to the destination. What does the f lever four do? Use. You've reached your destination. Use lever four. Is lowered. It's lower now. Quest waypoint one. Thirty-seven fathoms to the destination. I'm a little. Health, 50%, energy, 36 fathoms to the destination. See. Middle platform pressed, right port call is opened. Ah, so, lever 4, which is the one on the right, on this end of the bridge, uh, controls the trap. Good to know. But what I want to do... Right port call is closed. What I need to do, I need to walk through the middle platform. So what I need... Right platform pressed, middle port call is opened. What middle port call is closed. What to have happen is that the right and middle platform. Middle platform pressed. Right port call is opened. Right port call is closed. Switched around right now. Middle right port call is closed. Which is not the right way. So what I need to do or to figure out is find a way to. Left platform pressed. Left port call is opened. A way to find a combination of. Uh, left port call is closed of uh, levers which will make them open in the right way but we managed to open the left one at least so pick up brick let's explore new here. item acquired brick a little anything else interesting here pick up old round shield defense effectiveness 36 but my shield is better. Inventory letter to Gerhard. Brick. Red potion. Torch. Equipped. Red ma pouch duck at Bohemica. Zero. Okay. Mace. Strength. Worn Hussite shield. Defense effectiveness. 45. See? It has 45 and the old Pick up old shield options. Is Pick up old round shield. Defense effectiveness. 36. 36. So no good for me. I mean, 33 fathoms I mean, to the destination. Not... Pick up old round shield. Defense effectiveness. 36. I'm not a nobody. Oh, I'm... Strange step in grill. I wanted to be exploring. For now, not navigating. There is a rope bridge in the middle of the spacious area. In front of the stairwell no. are three passages, each closed with a portcullis trapdoor. I wanted the other description. For the room that I was just in. Left platform pressed, left portcullis opened. Yeah, let me get in. There we left portcullis closed. There is a rope bridge in the middle of the spacious area. In front of the stairwell are three passages, each closed with a portcullis trapdoor. Okay. There was an interaction around here. The portcullis trapdoor leads into a small room. It looks like an oubliette. Ah, this is the one I wanted. See, so you, you're getting more and more context. Use lever three is lowered. And we're now back in the... Oh, so the oubliette is really small. Five. Okay. We're now back in the main cave. See you, graphic, smiley face. See you next time, guys. Graphic, smiley face. See, button SLJ, button SLJ 1988. Check the other interactable. Button Piper mock well. It's probably a pressure plate of some kind and you're holding a heavy brick so. Button SLJ 1988. I think you need the brick you saw earlier. Button SLJ 1988. Wow, I love this puzzle so much. Pause slats per view. Button SLJ. Yeah, guys. Uh, you're, you're smart as well. So... Uh, I haven't thought of the breaks. No, I have. Okay, I'll stop. I don't know what's more entertaining for you, but though. I, I'm i thinking of stopping to play the dumb blind, uh, let's play, uh, the blind playthrough. 
as in not knowing blind as any as in not knowing anything about the game because you're not buying that stuff you're, right <laughs> everyone knows everyone knows i'm not playing this for the first time i've shown you enough of the puzzle i believe so i can i can tell you that yeah indeed what you can actually do is it doesn't matter if you step on the platform with or without carrying a brick but what matters is that if you try you can either try to figure out the combination of levers the right levers for the right platform to open the right portcullis or you can actually put the brakes on the platform to keep it uh, to keep it lower to keep it pressed and thus to keep the portcullis that opened uh, raised for instance when I step uh, I do be I believe yeah what's happening right now is that the middle portcullis which I need to walk through opens only when I step on the left platform what I could do is put the brakes on the left platform and keep it raised that way because the left platform will remain pressed all the time with the heavy weight of the bricks so even though I didn't figure figure out the right combination of the levers I can still walk through the portcullis now that now that it's uh, covered with bricks and it's raised but pause lads review it button SLG 1988 wow I, I love this puzzle so much one is I will 37 fathoms to the destination I will figure out the Custom waypoint, quest waypoint one. Where am I navigating? Yeah. Custom waypoint, nine fathoms to the destination. I moved uh, the levers at the end of the bridge where the platforms are. So levers three and four. Four fathoms to the destination. Let's try the other two ones now. Use lever one is raised. Use lever one is lowered. Custom waypoint, eight fathoms to the destination. There we Light go. torch. Why not? Hey, I said. Light torch. Why not? Six fathoms to the destination. Light torch. Use lever two is lowered. Use lever two is raised. Mm. Custom waypoint three. Custom waypoint. Quest waypoint one. Let's Forty-four see, fathoms to the destination. Now, if I walk to Light torch. Right to that Forty-four point. fathoms to the destination. Strange step in grill. Middle platform pressed. Hey. 35 fathoms to the destination. Middle platform pressed. Ooh, nothing happened. Custom waypoint one. Custom with 10 fathoms to the destination. Okay then. So a certain combination of these levers actually. Five fathoms to the destination. Actually leaves one of the platforms blocked. Set on. Three fathoms to the nothing. destination. Okay then, that's good to know. Use lever two is raised. Guys, I'm Cust use lever two is custom waypoint four. Before, and I know, like, Quest waypoint one. Forty-four to fathoms to the destination. <laughs> Light torch. <laughs> I genuinely can't remember. I genuinely can't remember the right. Straight forty fathoms to the destination. Middle platform pressed. Middle port call is opened. Ah, uh, it was not so difficult. Okay. You can while the port call is, is still ri rising. You can actually, and you probably heard me doing that. You heard the sound moving from a little bit far off to the left to the center directly straight to the center so you can actually uh, make use of the ori or ori of the environmental audio itself as as orientation cues 33 middle port call is closed game saved ooh game saved checkpoint is coming that doesn't sound good hey what's there there's another brick Give it to me. Pick up brick. I want brick. Snappy. Take this I want too. brick. Like that. Make sure it doesn't fall. What a bunch of clumsy idiots you are. Forgive me, father. What was that? One of those heretics got inside. But I've already sent Kahard and Boogaboo to take care of it. Seize him! Pick up and custom waypoint one. Task completed. Nineteen fathoms to the destination. Murdered. Custom way. Cust villager. V villager. By four or so. New and journal. Enemies. And I'm not used to, to playing this, but I just wanted to show you. Eleven fathoms to the destination. How? How tough? Ten fathoms to the destination. The combat can be. I'm already on low health. I hit someone, but they called me. See. There's like four enemies. Game over. You have died. 
From the moment the Antichrist is born, there will be many wars on earth and true order will be destroyed. Justice will vanish and cruelty will rule among people. Fallacies will proliferate and heretics will proclaim their false teachings publicly and undisturbed. Doubts and lack of knowledge will then spread among Christians about their Catholic faith. Many signs on the sun, moon, and stars will also appear, on water and other elements, as a preview of approaching woes. Prophecy of St. Hildegard of Bingen. Reload checkpoint. That's a monster of prophecy. So, reload checkpoint. Sorry, guys. Loading. Strange step in grill. Really Custom tired. waypoint 5 created. Hey, what? Custom waypoint 2. Custom waypoint 1. Quest waypoint 1. Custom waypoint 5. I never wanted... Okay. Waypoint 5 cleared. Oh, it doesn't want a cutscene or a transition ends. It probably forgets, fails to, fails to register the key release event. Yeah, oh, maybe something like that. Because I was no longer holding down a... Yeah, by the way, you create the custom waypoints by uh, holding down the end key. For navigation as opposed to just uh, tapping it briefly five five button slg 1988 i think you need the brick you saw earlier button slg 1988 wow i love this puzzle so much button slg 1988 this is a puzzle like in god of war man yeah. i've always wanted to solve puzzles like that right right isn't that right pause labs review it one th isn't that right so custom waypoint one quest waypoint one what i what i need to do is 29 fathoms to the destination custom waypoint four did i did yeah quest waypoint I one deleted. you are in the area under the cave most of the walls are made of worked stone. 29 fathoms to the destination. Pick up brick. Make it snappy. Take this too. What I need to that. do, I can tell you, make sure it is uh, make them... Press task options. Resume. To separate them. Like, I can't tackle four enemies at once. Uh, it's just not humanly possible in medieval combat. So what I can do is try to separate them as the tutorial on combat suggests and one way to separate them is to do so uh, using the bridge so if i'm lucky enough i can try to run all the way back Cust quest way 25 fathoms to the right. villager 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 custom new journal entry off. new tap pick up brick 16 strange step in grill quest waypoint new middle platform fred villager the, villager villager the, 12 fathoms to the destination Good. Oh, custom waypoint two. I can custom try. waypoint four. Four like fathoms to try. middle middle platform pressed. Two. Middle fort. Use lever four. Is lowered. Quest waypoint. Custom. Use lever four. Eleven fathoms to the destination. To make them run through the trap. I was too slow. Item oh, lost. Torch. Suck. Sucks. You hit Hinnick. Thank you. You. You said just where my. My words, and since I'm blocking myself with the shield, preparing their attacks, and I'm standing on the bridge, there's just two of them left. One, because they simply can't. They're standing on the sides of the bridge, but only one. Hey, 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 hey. Oof. God. Good, good, good. Only, only one could attack me at a given moment. Pick up steel rod, strength, See, 10, I range, 0, 7 open, fathoms. And immediately hear the interactions. Do I have any potions I don't like? Inventory, worn Hussite, cheap, red potion, torch, red potion. I do. Good. Health has been restored. Alcohol is starting to affect you. Item, pick up steel rod, strength, 10, range, 0, 7 fathoms. Because, uh, I don't have any more potions to show it with. And we can hear that strange priest from the cutscene chanting or enchant uh, invoking his uh, incantations so there's your magic there's your magic guys so Piotr and Lurin there's your magic from the Sapkowski trilogy for fat pick up steel rod strength pick up steel rod pick up old rusty it's just custom waypoint so two. cool uh, custom waypoint one quest waypoint one Okay, just five weapons. 44 fathoms to the destination. Pick up steel rod. Strength. 10. Range. Okay, 0, 0,7 fathoms. Oh yeah, that was the lever. Custom waypoint 1. Oh, I need to. Quest waypoint 1. Custom waypoint 4. I 7 fathoms to the destination. Pick up torch. Again. I don't wanna... You know what? I'm gonna ask. Option. Exit. Set. Resi Egg back help. Settings. Zap bit controls. Accessibility. Restored. Ac back read to on. Because they're locked. Now. Access slower. Access max. Choke. Invi cinema. Invi sin obs sonar. Vi sonar. Character zone. New interact. Ignore torches. Getting Enable. Really annoying for me. Accessibility. Do you want? Yes. Game. Resume. Do, you, do Options. I want to say my changes? Yes, I do. Strange step in grill. Five fathoms to the destination. 
Four fathoms to the destination. West waypoint one. Custom waypoint four. Three fathoms to the destination. Use lever four. Is raised. Use lever four. Custom waypoint three. Nine fathoms to the destination. Custom waypoint two. Uh, you know what? I can clear them all now because. All custom waypoints cleared. The because effects of alcohol have passed away. I will not be needing any of these levers anymore. Quest waypoint one. 37 fathoms to the destination. Middle platform pressed. Middle port call is opened. 34 fathoms to the destination. Middle port call is closed. Time until the portal open. Open door. I brick. 26 fathoms to the destination. Open door. I don't care about the brick. Door. Pick up wooden box. What do you mean door? Door health. 100% distance 5 fathoms. My Ooh. Door health distance distance five fathoms. So we'll be destroying it. Man door. in a black cow. Yeah, looks like it. And a man in a black cow. Open door. Open door. You can hear You can listen to that chanting now. Try to explore a bit, but it's difficult to hear over his. Over his. Uh, yeah. I can turn the voice. Time down. until the portal opens. Ten minutes. Normally, you open have... door. Oh, I'm probably Leo has walked. Open door. Open door. I'm hoping that the door. Health, 96%. Energy, 100%. Oh, is that just... 10 fathoms to the destination. Just the two Open door. Wooden boxes, I get... Okay. Pick up wooden... Bo pick up wooden... Pick up wooden box. Pick up wooden box. I hope he just hates the darkness. Show me these doors. I want to explore. Time until the portal Other opens. Doors. Nine minutes. Open door. The stone walls around don't look cozy, but there is a small stove and wooden bunk beds. Obviously someone's been sleeping here. Do we find your... Pick up torch. Pick up torch. New item acquired torch. Another torch. Pick up grassy pragences. Oh, thank you. Grassy pragences acquired. Beautiful. Three slash seven. Right. Yeah, I didn't explore everything thoroughly so that I would get them all. That was not my ambition for today. Pick up torch. Time until the portal opens. Eight minutes. New item acquired torch. Twenty-two fathoms to the destination. Getting back to the door. Close door. Open door. Pick up brick. New item acquired brick. Open door. Open door. Come on. Close door. The stone walls around don't look cozy, but there is a small stove and wooden bunk beds. Obviously oh. someone's been sleeping here. Good. So it's the same room I've already been. Close door. So I'm, I'm not Open door. Checking the custom the, waypoint one green northwest. You know the the compass and the south. Direction. Hey, I wanted to. Twenty two fathoms to the destination. Quest waypoint one. Custom waypoint one. Open door. Time until the portal opens. Yeah. Seven minutes. And close door. I have to get out. Northwest. First. Now. Northeast. East. East. Southeast. Now close it. Open door. East. North. 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 Northwest. And show me. 
If there's a different door around here. Strange step in grill. Open door. Close door. There is. You're probably in a storage room. There's stuff and wooden crates lying around. Northwest. You're probably in a storage. Waypoint one cleared. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. I was press delete instead of control. Silence it. And don't ask me why, because I don't know. <laughs> Time until the portal just, opens. Six minutes. Just me, I guess. Trying to find another solution, perhaps. Because what if I'm doing it wrong? What if I'm not supposed to destroy the door? Open metal door. Close metal door. Is there anything useful here? Close metal door. Like pick up liquor. Liquor. New item acquired. Pick up liquor. New item acquired. Pick up liquor. Ooh, a new, new item acquired liquor. And four of them at that. Or how many? Pick up time until the portal opens. Five minutes. Thank you. I hope you just... Close door. No, no, no. Open door. Close door. Pick up liquor. Yes, that's what I want to do. New item acquired. Close door. Pick up red potion. New item acquired red potion. Health, 96%. Energy, 100%. Another potion. And... Pick up red potion. New item acquired red potion. Another one. I think, okay. I think I just cleared everything I could in here. Close metal door. Five. Pause Labs Preview at Pause Lab button SLG 1988. This is a puzzle like in God of War. Man, I've always wanted to Pause Labs Preview. One. Right. 23 fathoms to the desk. Uh, quest time until the port. Quest waypoint one. Quest waypoint one. How many? Quest waypoint one. Um, quest how waypoint long? one. Time until the portal opens. Four minutes. 22 fathoms to the destination. Close door. Fine, but that's only because I know what I'm doing. If I didn't. 17 fathoms to the destination. I, I died here like uh, two or three times exploring this door. Place. Pick 13. Pick up wooden box. Okay. We can either destroy the store. Inventory liquor. Four PCS. We can do. You know what? Sorry. I'll just show you. Alcohol is starting to affect you. Item lost. Inventory liquor. 3 PCS. Item lost liquor. Inventory liquor. 2 PCS. Item lost liquor. Options. Resume. Pick oh. up wooden box. Priest, say something. 13 fathoms to the destination. Man in a black cow. Hey, 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 what? 10 fathoms to the destination. The? It's been disabled? I hope it's either disabled or broken in this demo build. Inventory liquor. Uh, not visually, but it's uh, drink equip. It's, Time until the portal uh, opens. Three minutes. Definitely supposed to be to be distorted. Also, uh, auditorially. Okay, we don't have to drink all the liquor bottles. We can. What we can do is equip it. No. Nine fathoms to the destination. It'll let me use liquor on door. Use liquor on door. Open door. Item lost. Open door. And I can inventory red potion two torch six PCS. Set it on Use torch on door. Fire. Open door. That's what I like. And to be completely clear that we make it on time, or sure that we make it on time. Item lost torch. We can also just smash door. Door percent task completed. Smash the door with our weapon. New journal entry. New task. Put the weapon back. Task completed. And what do we do here? Current quest enter the portal. Enter the portal. That's the uh, last thing left for us to do. I finally managed to get inside. The priest was just opening a magical portal. The man in black was defending him and he attacked me. But there was something wrong with him. His eyes were shining red and his face was sunken and pale. Ooh, as if he wasn't even alive anymore. He's spoiling a little bit. The priest and the man dressed in black ran off into a room and locked themselves in. Yeah. And I couldn't find my way out. 
Instead, I found a way to another level through a locked door. So this is how it goes in order. In the lower level of the vault, I came across a few people, probably villagers. There was also the last remaining black clad person and a certain priest. As soon as they spotted me, they tried to kill me without hesitation. The priest and the man dressed in black ran off into a room and locked themselves in. I finally managed to get inside. The priest was just opening a magical portal. The man in black was defending him and he attacked me. But there was something wrong with him. His eyes were shining red and his face was sunken and pale. As if he wasn't even alive anymore. I finally managed to get inside. The priest was just opening a magical yeah. portal. The man in so this is what happened. And this, was, this is what will happen to us uh, the second I walk through that door. We will be attacked. And we can try defending ourselves. You probably Nine fathoms know to the destination. How it's gonna, how it's gonna go, right? Game set. Devoted oh, servant. Is open. <laughs> Damn it. Devoted servant. Inside. What now? I'll take care of it. We'll meet on the other side. Why are you avoiding me? Game over. Why are you? Reload checkpoint. Loading. The, the portal is Press again to scale. Eight fathoms to the death. Devoted sir. Health. 96%. Energy. Yeah, I, I have my weapon out. Just you wait, I'll show you. Can I actually get him? Or does he heal himself? So fast. There, there, there are no enemies nearby. That I have no chance. I can. I can get him. Pick up short sword. Strength, 22. Range, 0, 0,8 fathoms. It's almost as good or better than a mace. It has uh, just uh, 3 strength less and 0.1 fathom more range. But I'm still keeping my trusty. 4 fathoms to the destination. Trusty old mace. What's this? That's the short sword. Pick up old wooden shield. Defense effectiveness, 42. Ooh, old wooden shield effectiveness, 42. Inventory torque. Red potion. Worn Hussite shield. Defense effectiveness, 45. Equipped. Mine is still a little bit better. Pick up old wooden shield. Defense effectiveness. There are stone tables and wooden shelves all around. There are books scattered everywhere. It's a mess. <laughs> it is now, especially after that. After that encounter I've just been through. Hey, what? What? What is around? How do I get to that? Yeah, to exactly this. Inter Read Damon icon two. Ooh. Okay. Damons have many names and forms under which they are known to people. But when the Dark Lord of the Underworld calls for his dear ones, these sit the closest to his throne, drink from one chalice with him, and share one bed with him. And here we have. Cl next page. And. Closed. Only next page, because we're on page one, but there will be previous next. page then. See Comet enters in the form of a lioness. She chases away other mistresses of the Dark One and then purrs in his ear of how she swept away her enemies with hot sands of the desert and brought malignant disease into their villages. The witch Hecate comes when the moon shines, a torch in her hand and a snake weaving its way around her ankles. Be wary of her, because she is the one bearing the magical power which she lends to her successors. Blissful Ishtar will brush past her companions and offer the Dark Lord the most secret pleasures of the physical world which are known only to her, the patroness of prostitutes and the creator of orgies. With her forearms, Kali, a she-daemon of blue skin, spins the wheel of time and looks out for deaths of those who are going to the realm of the Dark Lord, so that she... Clip next page. May direct their steps there. Behead or cut down an innocent and you will please her. There is only one strong enough to not bow before the Lord of Hell. She is his equal because she came forth from the arms of his greatest rival, rebelled against him, and took her place on the throne by the Hell Lord's side. Call her Lilith and hold her in the highest esteem. Pre okay. Close. Well, the name is uh, respectable. But rather than hold her in the highest esteem, I'd rather run away to like to the moon if I ever meet her. But I don't know if I will. I fear I will. I would like anything I can not to, but I suspect I will. Read Damon Icon 2. 
Four fathoms to the destination. Or I do anything I can to crush them. Little witch. F pick up old wooden shield. Defense effectiveness. 42. Okay, so... Southeast. Let's just follow the side portal. And let's walk through it. No need, no more need for navigation. No enemies. No things to pick up. At least not any uh, things that are interesting to me that are better than what I already have. Hmm. Maybe I underestimated myself. The effects of alcohol have passed away. And I have to turn, unfortunately. There's this bug with the alcohol currently. Southeast. Dear read Damon icon, two. Dear Portal, can you let me reach you without navigation assistance? Just so that I don't have to navigate everywhere. Thank you. No. No, you can't. Right. Pick up old wooden shield. Defense effective. Looks pick up like short. Pick up old wooden shield. Defense effectiveness. 42. Looks like you actually can't. Pick up short sword. Strength. 22. Let Range. 0, 0, 0,8 fathoms. Oh, I had to walk from all the way across. I see. Like, not across, but around. Task completed. Game saved. New journal entry. Loading. And watch this. Closed captions in action. Hinek walked out of the portal pretty shook up. One of the dozen people around hit Hinek in the head with an iron bar. Dark. Ah. Loading. This is where the demo ends. But the story is just beginning. To be continued in the full version. One thousand four hundred and twenty-eight shadows over Silesia. Credits: Programming, Story, Design, Petr Kubisic, Graphics, Synty Studios, Polytope Studio, Kodiak Graphics, and Phantom Studio. Ismail Burek and others. Animations: Malbers Animations, Mixamo, Rococo, and others. Music: Nicholas Shadi, aka Dark Fantasy Studio, Matthias Bones, Quanti Minoris. Sounds: Game Master Audio, Epic Stock Media, and others. Quality Assurance: Peter Derula, Daniel Dubsky, Borov Klima, Lucas. Kotrick, Mattis Lukes, Merrick Pospisel, David Skasik, David Stipsky, Translation, English Dita RYG, Espanol Oscar Don Hart Gomez, Blind Accessibility Advisor, Lucas Hosnidal, English Voiceovers, Gabriel Andrews, James Beaumont, Martin Bonnard, That's Roxy correct. Clark, Benjamin Ray, voice, Chance Havens, uh, Peter Hoskin. Voice actors who did their work incredibly well in both languages. So that was the demo of 1428 Shadows Over Silesia by Cuba Games. Uh, that was the whole first chapter. It took me way longer than it needed to just because I was trying to explain everything as best as I could, which someone may, may not have liked, but I wanted to show you the very deep details of the in individual accessibility features. So we have the credits rolling. We have this very nice uh, ballad, old medieval ballad uh, with uh, Czech lyrics. Uh, well, like in this Czech translation, uh, which is done by, I have to keep my voice down because my whole family is already probably sleeping, um, which is being used here by, arranged by this Czech band uh, as the credits music. And that's the demo. That's as far as any backer or beta tester could get so far. Loading. Resume. We're back in the main menu. And uh, the, the public demo is coming out in, in June. And as you can read on the accessibility page, uh, the full game is coming out September the 6th. So I really hope, uh, thank you, first of all, thanks uh, to every one of you who stayed here until the very end. Thanks for bearing with me and sticking with me uh, through the uh, 
uh, hoops and hiccups of my practically well it was, was not my first stream because I the first one was technically the chick one this afternoon but it was my first ever live streaming day day not only on twitch but uh, first streaming day ever and uh, it was the same day you know so I'm still figuring everything out I'm still figuring twitch out figuring out a way to have chat read automatically to me and all of that the voice uh, the voices to use but I, I honestly believe there are streamers that are doing a far better job as well as streamers that are doing a far worse job or maybe even less interesting. If it was boring to some of you, I, I apologize, but I didn't want you to miss out on anything. And if you liked it, I'm so happy you stayed but, but, here. But Ness LJ1988, wow. That was really so amazing to watch. Till Thanks so much for this end. totally amazing stream. I look so much forward to the game. Button Piper Mock okay. K, gotta go to bed as well because I need to work tomorrow. But thank you for the stream. This game is totally legit. Amazing work by the dev and yourself. Button SLJ1988, you did an amazing job on streaming. Pause Labs Preview. But thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, looks like uh, it's only the two of Select you. Select Mike Or maybe the yeah. one of you. <laughs> if Piotr already left. Uh, who sticked. Who sticked with me. There's Orthodox, there's Piotr, there's Ruk, Ruk Taylor, and Thank you, thank you so much, all of you, for sticking uh, with me this long, uh, for bearing with this. I am glad for your reactions, I'm glad you're enjoying the game, uh, you liked what you saw, and stay tuned. Uh, stay, keep your keep your uh, interest up, keep your excitement up and enthusiasm, because I am sure you know by now that you will not, you definitely will not be disappointed, and the whole thing when it comes out, the full thing, will be totally amazing. It'll blow <laughs> everyone's mind away, not just by the accessibility on its own, but especially by the story. <laughs> So yeah, thank you. Thank you. It was a blast for me as well and a great experience to learn from. I'm looking forward to sharing more news about the game with you and to doing more streams, not only if of this game, if time permits, but also of other games. Thanks. See you later. Uh, hopefully soon. Talk to you later. Oh, and chat to you later. <laughs> Bye for now. Thank you.